Yes. All right, cool. Okay, guys, well, you can go back there. I messed up. I'm assuming, um, unless you want to do anything specific, I'll, whatever, I'll just keep them out here. Loot! You said you were going to talk about loot. Well, you got to get it. You ran out of the tunnel. Yeah, but Kyle killed the salamander, so... Well, it's up to Kyle. If he's looting now or if he's going to leave and come back or what. Hey, man, you just said to remind you about the loot. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm assuming you want to go back to the cave. Do we ever? Rest and then come back the same or a different way. I don't know. Don't forget to go over the loot and shit. <laughs> Found somebody who was AFK. <laughs> uh, well, if you're going to go collect the things and then come back, you can do that, but otherwise... There were some chests in that cave. Oh, well, yeah, we can, uh, maybe best to do that on the new day. Well, technically, I could see what well, he had and not tell anybody. And not tell that's true, unless you run into something else down there and get that's killed. That's a real Jeff thing I'm, to do. That's a real Dude, I, Darren, I can't run into anything. I'm standing right beside him. Like, I just killed him. He was on top of me. And I, I, I think the chests were in the back room. Where, where they're you, in the room where, where we where found it. Yeah, let me go back. Yeah, me, I was just talking about you're saying like, that I was just be... on him. He, oh, yeah, oh, okay. he had some crystals on him, first of all. However, back on the map where the red circle is, there's some junk in the back of the cave. Yeah, That's I was just treasure. wondering if I could check this guy before I go to the cave. You you want to check this guy? He had all the uh, treasure. He had the... I think I wrote it here. He had uh, one water crystal, crystal, two water shards. And then after that, I wrote, ask me about the treasure in the room. In the room, a.k.a. the cave, back okay. here with the big chain. <clears throat> all right, well, then we could go back to the cave, then. That's all he had on him. Yeah, that's all he had on him. Yeah. All right, we'll go back to the cave, then. You go back there and uh, you meet up with um, Jared Dill and Karana. They're still there. Um, they're really reassured to see you. What about me? Um, they don't know who. What's who's this guy? That's I'll, right. He has no idea. I'll ask the questions. Uh, where's the paladin? He wouldn't let us out of the hey, uh, out of the jail at first. Like a real paladin, that's a real paladin move. Not letting people out of jail. 
Uh, it seems that Sir Kairos has perished, due in no small part to your inability to wield a sword. Oh, wait. We, wait. We know that. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, they know that. I was going to say, they watched us bury him. And then they spit on his grave. They know that. They spit on his grave? They did, yes. They don't know who you are. They're like, who's this guy? Do I know they spit on his grave? No, you don't. Interesting. Well, that's unfortunate that I do not know that. Yeah, so they don't know who you are, so. Who's this guy? He's your, uh, he's your new dad. Okay. They're officially adopted by you. No. You sound like the perfect stepdad. No. Already rejecting them on the first and your first breath. I see it's a match made in heaven. Oh, what, what else you guys doing? So he's gonna play with his. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look over at the Inquisitor and I'm gonna be like, um, so these guys spit on Sir Kairos' grave. Oh, they're gonna assure him that they did not. We did not spit on his grave. Uh. Uh. I don't know. He's just kind of... He, he's buried in the cave, right? <clears throat> he's just creepily in yeah. there. It just feels like there's more than one person in here sometimes. It feels like there's four people. Um, it's a really weird feeling. You guys were gone for a long time. It just feels weird in here. I will... Uh, I'll ask... Uh, Leaf and Karask, if it's true that he defiled his uh, his grave. I'll uh, look at you and shake my head. Do you want angry spirits? That's how you get angry spirits. What's the dude's name? Jaredil. Jaredil. Jaredilly, yeah. Uh, yeah, let me make an insight check on Jaredil. Okay. What are you looking for in him? Uh, he, if he's being truthful. Yeah. But oh, I about what he did? Yeah. Oh, for as far as you can tell, he seems to be telling the truth. So I got two yeses and one no from Leaf. Wait, oh, uh, was Wes really a yes? 
no, you can take no. that as a you're I not a that, yes. I said that sarcastically. All right, never mind then. Who is this guy? Isn't anybody going to explain who this guy is? I suppose I can ascertain the truth for myself. <clears throat> Use your lasso of truth, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Oh, paladins can do that, but the paladin is dead, so we can't. You can be a stepdad if you have an invisible jet, then take it home. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys want to rest here or do anything else? Uh, definitely the long rest so we can proceed to level up and all okay. that jazz and I'll prep my spell. Okay, go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll start the watch. Uh, I leave craft and I don't want you can go go sleep. Inquisitor is on first watch. So... I sent you a tell. Yeah, you? I know. I read it. Uh, so they're laying down trying to sleep. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> they're, they're, they're cuddling. They're starting to do big spoon and little spoon. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Um... <clears throat> I'm going to uh, draw my my blade and go over and um, put it up against Jaredil's throat and tell him to come with me. Okay. Uh, he's terrified uh, and uh, he has this frozen look on his face. Um, he tries to get up and um, he gets up without waking up um, Karana, and he's um, he says, uh, "Well, well, well, what are you doing?" I want to punch him in the face. Okay, you punch him in the face. Yeah, do you want me to? Do you want to make a an attack roll? Yeah, you can do an attack roll. You don't have to do damage, though. Is an unarmed strike just strength? Uh, yeah, you a punch is equal to, I think, it's either your strength mod or one plus your strength mod. I forget. Okay. Which. No, I mean, it's the, the attack portion of it. Oh, yeah, do that. What's that? Oh, uh, you, you go <laughs> punch him and he actually misses. You actually miss him. He darts out of the way. Um, and he he goes to uh, rouse. He tries. He wants to rouse everybody else up. So he goes over to whoever's closest to him, which happens to be... Iowan. So he shakes Iowan and says, uh, uh, Gandalf, I mean, <laughs> Archer, Archer, what? He tried to strike me. So he, he tries to rouse you up. I'm going to interrupt him and be like, I'm trying to sleep. Shut your songs up. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna try to pester you a little bit more and say he's trying to uh uh, uh Darren answer your question um uh, I think I just probably just asleep so I'm gonna look at him and say you probably got the punch thrown at you for lying and he saw through it okay. 
Uh, he says this is ridiculous. Can I can I act at all? Yeah, you can go ahead. He's uh, looking at you. How far away is he? I don't know. They're in, you're in like a twenty by twenty foot cave. Uh, I'll just take my whip from my belt and I don't know. I want to say something. I want to like hold it out and uh, I want to command him to. Uh, he can either take the punch or he can take the blade. Okay, that sounds like intimidation. Sure does. <laughs> it sure does, guys. Yeah, I'll see you in the dungeon. <laughs> oh, <There>. my. <laughs> Man. Oh, yeah, I'm you. doing real bad. <laughs> like... Well, charisma was my worst stat. Oh, uh, he said, this is ridiculous. Uh, let's see what... Um, Let's see what the, the druid has to say here. He's going to go over and wake up. Um, he's going to shake Leaf. Eh, he's going to try to wake you up. He said, this guy over here is trying to kill me. He's trying to slip my throat and take me out. I will uh, stand between them, and I'll just ask what's going on. He defiled the grave of a Dawnwood. He didn't know such thing. He lied to it. I'm sorry you feel that way. I, uh, he did no such act while I was uh, near him. And uh, if any of us would have seen him, then I would have seen him too. So I think it's the uh, someone else who might be lying. He tries to make eye contact with you as um, Leaf exchanges word with you. Um, <clears throat> you defend this man? Absolutely, I do. I will, uh, I'll defend any, all who need it. You would believe the word of somebody you just met and attack an innocent? Make Damn, him sleep outside. Me under the bus right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, he doesn't know any of us yet, so he's just like saying, like, hey, this random dude spit on his grave. Cool, I'm going to attack Well, him. I was trying to have uh, aggressive negotiations. Murder hope. Mm. Murder hope. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we just sit down and discuss this over some good berries? All right. Well, I don't have any quarrel with you, Druid. So I will. I'll sheath my sword and put my whip away, and tell uh, Jaredil this is far from over. I'm gonna turn to Jaredil uh, and ask him if he spit on his grave. No, but I'm going to fight on his pillow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then I'll, I'll just, I'll, I guess I'll resume my watch. I don't want to have, uh, I want to have conflict with anybody in the, actually in the party. You can, uh, Dave, you can answer this in a chat, but I'm going to ask you if I believe him. I'm going to, while this is going on, I'm going to look at no, the guy. The guy. I'll believe whatever he says. <laughs> um, I'm gonna look at the guy. Um, yeah. uh, I'm gonna look at the Inquisitor and say, "You should probably keep that whip out." I heard, uh, crap, what's his name? The the guy that he was about to fight. His wife really enjoys getting whipped. <laughs> oh boy.
All right, well, no, I'll, um, I guess I'll just resume my watch. Okay, you resume your watch, but you can swear you can feel his eyes on you the whole time. Good. Okay, anyone doing anything else on their watch? Anyone else want to start any fights? Otherwise, I assume you guys get through the night and it's the morning. It's day 38? 38? 37 or 38? I think it is 37. 37, okay. I'm just going to type it. <laughs> Clearly not, because you tried to fight that guy and... And did nothing. Listen, only because he was somehow allowed to run around and just wake everybody up. Well, you're the one that missed the punch. I had him at sword point. I think you don't have a friend in me. I think he got a. <laughs> I think you made an enemy that night. <laughs> I'm not af I'm not afraid of a you should, respond, uh, you should respond back to him. Well, I'm about to be in your friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, thanks, Dan. I'm totally out, out of the loop here. Uh I got none of my notes up. You know how I just start these things. It just kinda Let's see here. I don't even start whenever I play. I don't even have my character sheet, so and I I'm a player at that point. I have no excuses. Where's the, okay? Here we go. I'll roll the dice. Oh uh, yeah, you got a light. Yes, like a starting snow. And some of these trees are starting to collect uh, uh, snowflakes, and decorations, and stuff. Is it a heavy snow or like a moderate amount? Oh, it's just a it's just a regular snowstorm right now. It's not a blizzard. It's not a light snow. It's just like snowflakes and all that stuff. Visibility is probably down. Um, it's just a heavy snow coming down. No wind, or no strong wind. Oh, um, in the morning, I will cast uh, Creator Destroy Water to, uh, one, stock up on my own water, and two, uh, for anyone else who needs it, since uh, I haven't refilled our flasks in a couple days. What do you guys want to do now? Okay. Let me know when you want to set off or which way you want to approach. Oh, we're good. We can move. I just, um, I just wanted to throw that in the chat. Jump in to jump down. Are you guys going to the back porch, or are you just hanging in this chat? Oh, um, no, we can. It's it's just going to be through, um, like whispers. Sorry. Whisper, no, we can continue 
Um, okay, oh, Dave. Oh, oh. Go ahead, Dave. Something I forgot. Um, after your arrest, um, uh, Leo, uh, your poison wears off. Oh, excellent. Technically, I think it would have. It applies to skill check. Technically, it would have applied to some of the skill checks and attacks, I think, but uh, they they missed. So that would have been the same result. <laughs> so no harm, no foul there. At any rate, are you guys going back in the same way? Yeah. Okay, because I can just drag you back over here. Yep. Do you want me to move us on this map or? No, you don't have to. You can just, uh, I'm just going to do this. And you can fix your hit points because you'll have leveled up. And all of that stuff. And just snake over here. Oh, yeah, you can leave him around because I'll probably leave yeah. him again. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep him here. And, um, oh, yeah, climb the one in the uh, chat if you felt like, um, last week if you felt like using him. <clears throat> and seriously, Craig, uh, I got no clue. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm so, don't, say anything I, I, don't say anything else. Don't say anything else. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, as soon as you step in the cave, it's dark again. <laughs> I have a lantern. Okay. You can fix your HP whenever you want. Yeah, I will. Um, I, will. I just don't want to have to. I wouldn't want to have to take away all your HP and. Uh, retcon some stuff why okay um, why would you want to do that oh you're right this is the uh, everything else in here is easy the rest of this is called a fungin why would you take away hp and retcon things well let's say you had the wrong hp because you didn't level up and something came out and got you and then it's like you're dead, but then oh you're not dead. Then we have to back up. But oh, yeah. you're still up. I need to ch I need to change my HP. <laughs> Good yeah, call. yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that stuff. What what is it? Seven for fighters? I think it's six plus con mods. Okay. You can roll it if you want. You can roll it. Uh, I, I, I have bad luck. That's not what you said about the dice last game. Yeah, well, you said you're gonna live in karma, karma. Karma's gonna come right back for me. So <laughs> you don't play with the dice; they're they're fickle, man. You respect the dice. You know who didn't re respect the dice? Sir Kairos. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a new day. It's uh, fairly early. You get back in here. Uh, your coffee just kicks in. Uh, you settled in. You logged in. You checked your emails. You're back in the dungeon. Well, 
Was this added? I don't remember that being there. Well, I'm too I'm too zoomed in here. What? The little stairwell over by the the Oh the, over here? Oh that's been there. Oh yeah, I just didn't remember it. That's been there. All right, do you guys want to make your way back to where we originally found that beast and uh, see what we uh, find? Yeah, might as well see what was in the chest. And I don't know if he wants to loot this thing. Actually, I might go ahead and just turn into a snake right now just in case you run into something. That way it takes the hit instead of uh, my caster form. Okay. Bring in the snake. Oh, Dave, in case you're wondering, uh, the blue bar on my caster form um, tracks my wild shape. Okay. You can cast what? You can cast in wild shape now? Or no? No, 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 that's not until, like, much lighter. I was saying in my normal druid form, um, the blue bar just is a uh, tracks how many um, wild shapes I have left. So I was at, like, one out of two. The blue remember. bar? Yeah, because you have your health bar, and you also have the blue and a red bar. Okay, uh, I don't, you can uh, use that blue one. I don't, I don't see any value in that. No, you can disregard it. I was just, in case you're wondering, but... Oh. Okay. Doesn't seem like here, so we're good. Okay. Um, loot. We want to loot the monster, please. Okay, well, he has the crystals. He has one crystal and two shards of water. Oh, I think I only took those. Okay. I didn't, I didn't technically grab them. I was just seeing what was there. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we should just give the crystals and the shards to the new guy since we got to kind of catch him up to where we are. I don't need those. I mean, I don't have any, but you killed the monster, so if you want them, you should take them. Yeah, I think you were going to take the crystal and Watson was going to take the shards. I don't remember what the deal was. I mean, worst case scenario, how many find that we have an excess of shards and somebody can float me one? Worst case scenario. Yes. All right, so... I'll take the water crystal. And then there's two water shards that uh, go to Karask. <clears throat> oh, is he turning into a bard? Yeah. Oh, man, I was just making, I was making the pun. <laughs> I'm singing you a song of rage. Yeah, I was going to say, would that be like heavy metal? Is that like what a barbarian bard would be? There's a valor bard that's kind of like that, and also College of Swords is more melee. Yeah, that's what uh, Beetle was. College of Thorns. Uh, yeah, you can kind of, yeah. <laughs> you can. That's before he turned into Beetle Jelly. Yeah. Dude, the worst part is, is like, I could have healed before I left the snake room, but I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm still at like 20 something at level three. It happens. <laughs> if you can get a bard past the first couple of water levels, should be okay, but that's kind of true for anybody. I uh, come to realize the first three levels are the most dangerous because you have you can pretty much take like you take one big hit, you're dead. Yeah, you don't have a shield spell, you don't have a mage on, you don't got um nothing. You don't have arm. You don't have armor like a cleric. You just so got the because everything that you're saying, Sir Kairos had. <laughs> well, he made it through the early levels. To missteps. 
Should have went across the Should've bridge. We all make missteps. Should have went across. This step was not going across the bridge. That's for sure. Sometimes missteps kill you. Sometimes you make it out okay. Okay, so when we get to here, I'm gonna tell everybody to just. Hold on, and I'll check out what's going on in the room. I am definitely following you because I saw personally what was there, but also I'm a snake. We can't really say anything. Okay, well, I'm going to say that would have been cool if you would have guarded me, though, Darren, since I'm defenseless when I do this. My, my ghost can't pick anything up, but I can now sit down and meditate and control it up to a thousand feet. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll hang out around you. So that way I can see if there's anything around the corner without anyone's life being at risk. Except for uh, apparently the Inquisitor is looking to get his, get his shit kicked in. So. Look, they're probably locked. He's, so, real, he's a real tough guy coming around the corner after the beast is already dead. I didn't say that. Went out the door when shit goes bad. Work smarter, not harder, bro. <laughs> All right, do I see any monsters or anything? In hey, here? that's the that's the what, that's the Lowe's fucking low, uh, catchphrase. That's not it? what Lowe's says. Yeah, it is. It's like no, work it's smarter, not, not harder. Up. It says do it right for less. I guess that's uh, the same thing. Is that Lowe's? Yeah. I thought what they well, I, I don't know. Lowe's, yeah, Lowe's, yeah, Lowe's. Okay, you see two chests here, you see a uh, broken chain. The chain's not any good anymore. Okay. But there's no monsters or anything. Can you manipulate them with your shadow? Yeah, so basically it becomes, like, I am the shadow, except for if it gets destroyed, I'm still alive. I can, So, like, I can see, I can hear, I can taste. So, like, it's Attack. Exactly my character, except Use for the action. shadow. Okay. okay. I just have to be... Um, okay. So that's why I was asking if I saw anything or not. You just see, no, you don't see any, like, creatures or anything hostile. You do see the two chests there. They are undisturbed. They're, um, they're, um, uh, they're not locked either. You don't see any locks on them. Okay. Well, I'm just going to pop back. And then uh, I'm going to stand up and be like, all right, guys, coast is clear to go into that room. Um, all right. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to check uh, the first chest right here. Okay. Uh, in that one, you pop that one open. You find probably eh, 1,100 uh, breath coins. And a potion of some type. Can you put it in the chat? Yeah. Thank you. So I guess I'll just take the uh, unknown potion and put it in my bag and leave the coin sit there. And I'll pop open the other one. The other one you got. Oh. 
Uh, so the one potion is a brown one. The other one is uh, blue. Okay, so one brown. One blue. Okay. And I guess I'm just going to grab the blue one and then meet up with Harask. I'm going to say, what up? What up, homie G? You learning all that King Varn lingo? Yeah, yeah, I was hanging out with King Varn before we came over here. Yeah, it shows. So just to clarify, was, was Varn in blackface or was he actually black? That is fucked up. I think it's 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 much more complicated than that. Uh, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, there's kind of a personality thing. So he's kind of schizophrenic? Um, not quite, but you're getting there. I just say he's very cultured. The way he gets around is he he moves like a uh, like a like a like a brain surgeon. Uh, are you uh, okay? Are you guys doing anything else here? What are you guys are you guys doing anything with the coin? There's uh, twenty two hundred brass coins. I'll hang on to those. Okay, they're pretty heavy. Uh, maybe we should divvy them out for weight then. That's why I was leaving them there, because brass coins weigh too much to, for their worth. <clears throat> I'll divide it by 50. Uh, it's 44 pounds for all those coins. Yeah, that's why I was like, yeah, I'm not taking those. Eat not worth those coins, Darren. You're a snake. Just eat them. <laughs> <laughs> and then when there's, a bad guy, and when there's a bad guy, Karas can grab you by the tail and just like, you know how they put like bars of soap in a sock? <laughs> <laughs> just like swing you around to fuck up the bad guy. <laughs> Dude, it's going to look like Sonic getting hit when he loses all his rings. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the dude. Do it for the team. It's a role play. It's a role play. 44 divided by what? Four is 10. 11. Or, eat, or eaten by one snake. <laughs> so. It's up to you. You can leave it behind or keep going or you get it. Think about it later. What is the value in copper? What is the copper? Take a zero off the end of it. So 220. Nah, fuck that. I'm good. A paltry sum. Okay. Yeah, that's why I left the coins there. I'm like this. I mean, it'd be nice to have more money, but the weight is it would be way too much. So, uh, are you guys going this way then? Yeah, I'm good with. I'm good with whatever. Uh, do you guys still want me to hang out with uh, Island? Oh, no, I started moving again. I just wanted you to to chill while I had my shadow out to make sure we weren't going to get jumped coming around the corner again. Corner again. 
I'm gonna swim through the river. Oh, with your 30 feet of movement? With my, uh, I forget how much. I think it's 30. 30 feet of movement. Fucking python swimming through the Amazon and shit. That shit's scary. Yeah, that, that scares me more than a fucking gator. That's on my list of places I'm never gonna go. At this point, no you're Wi-Fi ready to go there, out the dude. front door. Dude, listen, when I worked for a when I worked for a grocery sales company, uh, they said that there were people that would be sent to South America and they'd have to send like armed security with them because it's dangerous as fuck. <laughs> like Yeah, but I hear the coke's cheap. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it is hella cheap down there. I feel like I would need that to deal with the all the animals in the Amazon that want to kill me. And there's a dude, there's a, a fish that'll swim right up your penis into your bladder. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, right. Hundred percent bad chance of a bad time. <laughs> Anyway, sorry to interject with that. Uh, let's keep going. Oh my god, I legit just laughed at this fucking picture. Okay. Uh, you're gonna get in the water. You're gonna get a little wet here. I'll give you a description of this room. How far can you guys see? Uh, we got a dark vision guy here. Whoa, that's the wrong thing. Dark vision guy can see all this stuff. So we'll do that. I have a lantern. And how far is that? Is that 60? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay. That's probably all you can see. Right? Yeah. That's probably pretty good. I'm going to you know, come out and start walking on the land. I say this swimming shits for the birds. Um. Yeah, it is kind of like waist high water, and it is moving pretty fast. By that point, uh, the room, uh, as you flounder through, like, the uh, cold switch stream, um, this cabin's pretty big. Uh, it's, like, 30-foot high ceiling. And uh, as you kind of see the far end of it is lost in darkness a bit. There is a foul stench that you notice right away. Um, you see butchered game animals. Uh, hang kind of like on stakes, wooden stakes on the walls here. That's what that bed stuff is. And you see like a, um, a, if you go down a little farther, you will see like a pair of orc corpses treated in the same way. Oh, the, the, uh, the... Boltons are here with the flayed orc. Take their ears. Yeah, cut their ears off. You don't know about this deal. Hey, I'm just hey. along for the ride, man. You you just you, you, you just broke uh, our, uh role playing for me for the rest of the game. <laughs> Or you would have seen us cut the ears off the orcs we fought in that uh, in this first encounter. Yeah, so eat ten eat ten orc dicks for doubting me, sir. <laughs> I'm sure that's not a pleasant experience. Not too bad. <laughs> I'm, I'll take your word for it. Uh, 
Oh, oui. Oh. What are we doing here? Getting killed. Nope. Hour and a half later. Hour. All right. Uh, if no one else wants to, then I guess I'll lead the way and check out the area. I don't know if I've ever showed you the uh, Androsi family specialty, but it looks a lot like this. Isn't that what oh, happened? Dan. You were too scared to cross a bridge? bridge? I'm sorry, but they're there. Hoochie! Hoochie! They're there. Uh, one of them jumps out. He has a, a, a hook and a staff, and he jumps out. What is it? Whatever that thing is. He's going to try to get you. It's like Murloc without fins. Mm-hmm. He's going to jump out, and he's going to bite. And attack with his pincer staff. So he's gonna jump out. He's... Why don't you? So what's, your family want? what's your passive perception, Darren? So glad you asked. It is sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Well, you spot them, and you spot them yeah. jump out. Uh, so before they try to, they're trying to be sneaky and quiet. Uh, you spot them as they're jumping out. Um, Y'all can roll for, you know what. going to be one of those nights. You should probably just roll your 3d6 now. How dare you say that to me, sir? For damage? <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Uh, Kyle, go ahead, roll initiative. Craft is 20, craft is first. Oh, Kyle. Yo, maybe, maybe you had to do baby yeah, stuff. He might have had to step away. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Okay, well, he uh, he go unless he wants to go after me. Uh, no, 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 baby stuff, just moving stuff. Sorry. Oh, good dude. Uh, that'll be minus minus ten DKP. Sorry. Uh, I'll pass on the next uh, hunter loot. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, um, I am getting Wind Fury, uh, Blessed Blade of the Wind Speaker, uh, from this, right? <laughs> yeah, you you gotta get, well, once you start seeing more lava and a little less water in the caves here. Uh, go ahead, Wes, you're first on this one. Then it's the Yolan Leaf. Okay. 
uh, I'm going to move over here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bonus action rage. And I'm going to go ahead and recklessly attack the red guy. Starting off heavy. Hi, dude. Uh, that's... Okay. 25, yeah. Oh, 27. Uh, yeah, those hit. Uh, he's going to roll concentration. Okay, I don't even need to do the math. Okay. Okay. Hey, Owen. We decided I'm going. Yeah, it's your turn. Okay, well, I'm gonna attack him. And I'm gonna activate Sharpshooter. Oh, uh, both those hit. Ooh, he's not gonna have a fun time. Twenty-two and twenty. Okay, yeah, he's down. And this guy makes a trilling sound with his tongue and teeth. Uh, Leaf, your turn. Oh boy, I'm gonna grab, b b b b b b do the Python thing on the uh, on that one. Oh, I'm gonna pull up my thing. Shit, that's the one. Yeah, twelve. Ten, and he's grappled. Okay. I grapple them in your screen. Okay, so he's he's grappled or he's restrained. He has the restrain condition. Ye so he can attack, but he can't move. I believe. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, does he attack with disadvantage? Um, condition. I think so. I can pull it up again. I have a uh, page of the PHP. Uh, grappled. Wait, grappled or is it restrained? The grappled creature speed is zero. He's restrained. So he scroll faster. Speed is zero. Uh, we have advantage, and he has disadvantage. And he also has disadvantage on deck saves. Oh, so he's restrained. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, he's going to. Oh. He's going to try to. Do you notice he's a little slick? So he's going to try to slip away. That is uh, strength, right? Can you use strength or. He can use strength or dex. Uh, it's either athletics or um, acrobatics, okay. his choice. He's a little slip, slick. So he gets advantage. And you get the 20. Does that break out? I guess that breaks out. Breaks out. Oh, yeah. No, he succeeds. Is that his action, though? Yes, unless he has an ability that says otherwise. Okay. Um, wait. Okay. I think that is his turn. He's going to stay there next. It is the Inquisitor's turn. All right, so I got cunning action at level two. So uh, from now on, my turn, I can use bonus action to uh, dash, disengage, or hide. So I'm going to dash here. Bonus action, dash here. And I'm going to whip him. I'm going to hit him with my whip twice. Well, hopefully hit him with my whip twice. Could have a little, you gotta get a little closer, I think. I'm getting that square. Okay. Ghost ride the whip. Uh, both those hit. All right, so it's gonna be 2d4 plus four. So nine points of damage, and then. Uh, I want to use the slasher feat once per turn when you hit a creature with an attack. If you have slashing damage, you can reduce their speed by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. So his speed is reduced by 10. Got it. And that's going to be the end of my turn. Thank okay. you. I'm going to be right back and grab dinner from the oven. Chris, uh, Crash. Mm. Do I still have line of sight if I move in this square? Uh, you have line of sight. His AC will be plus two, though. Well, can I just move in the same square as Darren? Uh, if you step over him. Yeah, I'll if just. You don't do step that. on him. Yeah, I'll just. Yeah, I'll just step over him. Uh, attack him recklessly. Hits. Nine sixteen. I own one. Well, I guess I'm uh, gonna go ahead and take a couple Sur steps. Surprise me. Oh yeah, you guys have advantage on attack rolls against this guy. Why? No, you Why? don't. Just escape. Uh, uh, I'm gonna fire two arrows at the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, he's not looking. Uh, 18 hits this guy, but I don't know if it, or 16, 16 hits this guy, but I don't know about, um, you know.
Hey, I'm back. I think you're getting shot at. By who? I can't confirm or deny. Who's shooting at me? This guy. No, he doesn't have any arrows. He's just fucking with you. Calm down. I'm just, I'm just asking. Uh, 18. Uh, yeah, I, 18 hits this guy. I think I, I wasn't sure who you were shooting at. I think no. I was Jesus. Okay, uh, I was a little uh, confused. I was just confused. My bad. I was going to say, I think I was um, shot at in Halo 3 in a sniper battle when somebody pushed me off the steps. Look at the faggot losing a sniper battle. Wow. Hey, man, all I'm saying is they're real easy to hit when they're just falling in a straight I mean, line. Clearly. It's technically not friendly fire. So. I, shouldn't, I shouldn't expect anything less from a shitty Pikachu main. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just think this guy just got a whole bunch of uh, hit points back. <laughs> He's looking made at you. Uh -huh. That won't save him. He's crackle, crackling with electricity. Uh, uh, Leaf, go ahead. Sorry, what did you say? Uh, go ahead, Leaf. Your turn. Nice. I'm going to uh, bite him. Wait, which one is more? I'm going to constrict him. Nah, uh, just kidding. Mm, yeah, he's, he's going to get a turn. Well, I'm just going to move to this side of him uh, to uh, give my buddy some room. Okay, so what he's going to do is flip out a little bit. He's going to cast something on you, Crash, and then also... Um, Uh, Iolan. And he's going to start... The same. He's, excuse me. He's going to cast something and then he's going to start the run. Whoopsie. Uh, is there, there a... Is a yeah. Oh, yeah, there is one. There's charisma saving bows. Oh, yeah. Nah, just kidding. Well, you see, guys, I don't talk too good. Apparently, Karas does, though. Okay, so he's going to jump in here. He's going to try to jump in the water, run past you guys, and jump in the water. Can we make an opportunity attack? Yes. Now, 14. 14, uh, 14 is a 10, so you miss. Ah, I see what you just did. Um, crash, that's 16 hits. Thirteen. Okay, he falls in the water and floats downstream. Which way is the water? Is the water flowing this, this way? Downstream. Huh? Now oh, it looks like we gotta go down the creepy stairs. Or can we go over here? We got level seven. Level 
Okay, so for that fight is 150. Whoa. Ding, level 8. Just kidding. So I'm like level 17 now, right? Because I came back as Island the White. <laughs> well, if we gave that much, maybe, but... Uh, if you soloed that guy, that would be... Let's find out. Secondly, he duoed that guy, cited uh, most of the damage there. Yeah, technically, you're right. But if you soloed him, it would have been, uh, it says 7,500. Nice. I don't know how far that gets you. Yeah. Almost yeah. a little bit. It'd be probably like 3,500 each moment. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, you guys uh, ready to check out this area? Or I guess we're sort of already here. Dave, do we see anything else uh, in this room? I will tell you that right now. So in this room, what room is this? Okay, so over here, this is uh, um, looks like some structure made out of mud and waddle, waddle, mud and waddle. Uh, that's blocking what appears to be a passage southwest. Uh, there is... Uh, yeah, there is uh, work bodies and game meat. Um, the river, the water flows from under an overhang from this direction. That's only a couple inches high from the ceiling. And then it just enters into here and just further rear, further with the rear. So can I take out my sword and try and cut through it? Do it. Okay, if you want to do that, uh, just roll a strength check. Okay, well, you just kind of smack it, uh, and it sounds like a, uh, a, a really bad hey, drum. Can I try? It? Can I try it? I like you're hitting a cardboard box or paper mache or something. Why, yes. Twenty. Uh, you bust it down. And you have dark vision, so... You can see... Oh, shoot. Okay. 
you can see uh you break that down and ahead you see a dank dark cave um uh, another set of eyes very much like you just saw up here and um Let's see if I have a description. Uh, the passage opened into a long, it's a very low cabin compared to the one you're coming from. And um, the twisting passage leads back into the room and you hear something hissing from the, the dark and you hear soft padding of scaly feet on rock. Should I make an initiative roll? Yeah, you should probably make an initiative roll. What? So I'll do initiative again. Twenty-one. Uh, Leo, go first. All right, well. I'm going to take out my bow and shoot him. You got a shot from there. My bow. Yeah, I want to pick up Darren. Can I launch him with my short bow? <laughs> like in a, like in the cartoons? Yeah. I can. If he if he likes you. Did you, Darren? Do you want to get shot out of a short bow? Fuck oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. Oh. All right. I'll step up here and scoop up Darren, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna draw back on my bow, and I'm gonna try and shoot him at this guy, and then can he also make a bite attack if he hits him? Why not? Why not? Why yeah, not? This is I great. It's a whip. I'd have to get closer. You got a crit, man. What do you What do you want to do, Darren? You're the one that has to either get shot oh, man, or, or do whatever. All right, I'll pick him up. <laughs> I'm gonna pick him up and run in here and start whipping people with him. Come on. Oh, what do you have? Ghost ride the snake whip. Do I have proficiency with snake whip? Uh, are you, you whipping him with it? Yeah, I decided I would just use him as a whip with fangs. Okay. Okay. 15 and 12. Okay, 15 and 12. First of all... How well can you see? Uh, well, I had a lantern, so maybe I set the lantern down like right here. Okay, we'll set set it down. I don't have a I don't have um an um a token or anything for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can just make a orange dot. If that's that... it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, give me a sec. That's fine. Ooh. Uh, 15 and 12 both hit. All right. He's getting snake whipped. So does he also get to make a fight attack? I think what we'll do is I think he constricts. So why don't you roll 
roll for damage. Why don't you roll for the snake damage and then he can use his he can use his bite on the same action. Okay. How exciting. And then he can he can roll roll uh so so yeah, you hit him for ten. Am I rolling might or constrict? Oh damage? it's whatever you want, but if you if you constrict uh he's uh Leofric has to let go of you. I'm gonna constrict. You're gonna constrict. Constrict. Uh, that was a hit. I don't know if I needed to roll for uh, to hit first. If that hits, then you're damaged. Yeah, that hits. Fucking amazing. Twelve, and he's oh, constricted. Oh. Okay. Now I'll just go ahead and use use my turn for this round doing that. All right. Wow. I couldn't say no to that. I hope you're ready to see it a lot more. <laughs> I think I opened up a can of snakes. You did. Uh... There you go. Uh, oh, whoops. Put him on there. I put, I have things on the, okay, okay, we're good. Um, I see what you're saying. Um, I remember what I'm doing now. Wait, no, I don't. This is what happens when you don't review. Okay. Um, okay, after that, it's Crash turn. Um, all right. Uh, let's see here. Um, Uh, all right, I'm going to move up here, and then I'm going to go ahead and stow my axe and go ahead and uh, pull out the oversized long bell and go ahead and make two attacks on the uh, constricted. Restrained guy. Uh, attacking recklessly with a ranged weapon. 15, uh, no, I can't hit. attack. I can't attack recklessly with a ranged weapon. Uh, oh. but he's constricted, so I do have advantage. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. And are you, just to make sure you're shooting through... Uh, I think you got a pretty good shot. Yeah, okay. um, 15 and 20 both hit. Okay. Thirteen and nine. Yeah, you're sneaky. Nice. Uh, he getting shot up. 
Alright. After that's... crash, get I own one. So I'm gonna look over at Karask and say, your skin must be green for envy because you shoot so poorly. And then I'm gonna fire two shots off at the same guy. Nice. Oh, uh, they both hit. So this is the regular? Regular. I would add, it would be 23, right? I just add the 8. Um, yeah, it's an extra 8. Yeah, 30. Okay, so he's down. And I wink at Karask and say, that's how it's done. I'm trying to remember what Haru... Haru did something where he said something... Oh, no, 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 that was the drow. I remember that drow lady was coming up behind you and shot. It was about to shoot um, uh, Sir Kairos. Okay, that guy is down. Uh, he's no longer strained either, so. Uh, after Yowen, uh, you start hearing a trilling sound and footsteps. Uh, from somewhere down here. He points that uh, the only person he can see is Leo Fix. And he starts doing ma um, some kind of magic shit. Uh, you must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Leo Fix. Okay. Um, very good. Darren, Another one's coming uh, to do the same thing. Darren, good thing you uh, told me to take first level in Rogue. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, thanks, Bubby. He's gonna get here. This guy's running through the hallway. Uh, roll another uh, deck save. Fuck. Okay, that one does not go through. And this is radiant. <clears throat> radiant damage. <clears throat> I take more damage than that when I walk into church. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, uh, it would be least time, but you have gone. Yeah, yeah, I, don't I, don't to, I don't know how to do this. If you want to move or... Uh, so we'll, we can do as much turn. This involves me moving and attacking, but uh, I am curious. What's this thing? That's another one. Oh, okay, that is a baddie. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, Leo Fick, it's your turn. Uh, 
Hopefully you fixed him. What are we doing? Uh, it's your turn. It's my turn. Yeah. I think so. I didn't even hear Dave say it was my turn. I apologize. Can you hear me? No, I did. I I was just okay. waiting. I thought maybe I'm just testing my mic now. I don't know. Oh, no, I heard you. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, no, I thought I'm with my mic. Darren, do you, want, do you want me to come over here and help you with this guy, or should I engage these two coming down the hall? You can engage the two coming down the hall. I can probably take them. Okay, well, out. I'm going to draw my sword and run in here and make two attacks. <laughs> Eight and twenty-one. Twenty-one. To win. Slash him. So uh, I'm going to reduce his speed by ten feet. Right. Until the start of my next turn. And that is the end of my turn. Oh, wait. Uh, can I use my bonus action, cunning action, to um, disengage and back away? I'm going to try and lure them out here where they can get shot. Go for the win. Okay. All right, yeah, so that's what I'll do. And I'll end my turn. Thanks. Okay, so this door is going to open up here, and out pops this guy. He is going to drop. A little Christmas, oh, early Christmas present. The shishi is this, this one's fine. He's gonna drop a early Christmas present. All oh, right about here. And Couple of things are gonna happen. First of all, that little Christmas present is going to attack um, Leofric. Twenty-one. That's a hit. Also, you see these little, like, fiends start dancing around you. These little fiends just kind of hopping around. And... You must make a wisdom saving throw. Very good. Oh, so you take half damage. So 
So you take um, 10 necrotic. And then make a deck save. Okay, you're good. And now it's crash turn. Uh, all right, I'm going to move here and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to shoot this guy. Okay. So you're going to lean up against the wall and fire an arrow over the wall door. Um, both of those hit. Okay. Uh, that's going to end my turn then. Are you going to roll for damage? Wait, did you say that both of those, didn't you say both of those miss? No, both of those hit. Oh, okay. I thought my mic's not working again or something. Twenty-four. Oh, he doesn't like it. He starts making a trilling sound. Uh, it is actually a Owen's turn. If he's still away, maybe I'll just we'll just get him in here when he's back. I don't know. If I don't know. Kyle's Let's back. Okay. Hey there, Kyle. Uh, well, I'm going to get these guys going. So this guy is going to come over here, and he's going to attack our sneaky boy here. Oh, he's not having it. He's not restrained or anything, so. Okay, this is bite. He's going to bite you. That is Ooh. a mess. Ooh. He's going to use pincer staff. 11's a miss. 11's a miss, but he does bite you then. Yep. So we're going to get you with a bite. Uh, I said teeth clamp on you for nine. Um. Uh, this guy here, oh, he can make it. We're going to start in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy's going to come up here. He's going to look at, uh, Darren and Craig, and you guys have to make a charisma saving throw. Uh, Good job. Okay. This guy's going to come up here. And he's going to go for the attack on, oh, you know what? Oops. I have to come up this far. 
Okay, this guy's going to come over here. Yeah, one of these guys has their speed reduced. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's going to step here. And this guy's going to come up over here. Um, this guy here is going to come over here and attack Darren. Okay. Um, all right, so bite. Okay. And staff. Okay. All right, those both hit. Carl, you can go after this. Bite. And pinster staff is 1d6 plus 2. Uh, and then are you medium or smaller? You're large. Large. Uh, so he's trying to do something, but he realizes it's a mistake. And you're, he only saw the corner of your tail whenever he came around here. And then as he attacking you, he realized he, you big. He's much bigger than he thought. Um, this guy is going to use his staff. And it's got, it's got range. And he's going to attack Leofric. 22. Hit. Uh, the 1d6 plus 2. And then if you are medium or smaller, you are grappled. Uh, you have an escape DC of 14. So he, he's got like one of those, um, pool nets so this guy threw a net on me no no this guy did he had a staff with the, like a claw so he clawed me how am i yeah. rest how am i restrained uh he pulls the the little the little button on there or the hook and it clamps down on you around your waist okay it's got little, you're taking a little bit of damage from the spikes on the, uh, on the claw. It's a little jaggy. Uh, did this guy go yet? This guy back here? I don't think so. He's going to come up here. I don't know if he can. Maybe he's in his way. Uh, he's going to cast something. He's going to cast something. All right. Uh, Iolan, you can go ahead. Well, I guess uh, I'm going to attack uh, this guy. Fourteen, eighteen hit. Twenty-three and eighteen. Ouch. I'm going after that pine cone DPS. Okay. Uh, Leap, it's your turn. Oh, boy. Oh, well, what's this thing up here? I'm going to trick this motherfucker. Thirteen. Thirteen hit. Yeah. Uh, Twelve damage, and he is uh, 
restrain. All right, we're gonna a little net here. Okay. Uh, okay. Leah Frick. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna try and escape, I guess. Oh, Dave, I'm gonna just move down here for my um at the end of my turn. Sorry. Is it? So is like, it? this always move this down guy wanna bite you. Or motherfucker. Mias. Sorry. No, it's all ahead. good. Is it? Um, is it just a dex save to get out, or? Uh, the grappled escape DC fourteen. Oh, yeah, oh, I think it's actually actual good. athletics. And whatever you roll, it's subtracted by three. Fourteen. So you do escape. Excellent. Also, at the start of your turn, you have these fiends dancing around you. Oh, uh, you must take a wisdom saving throw. You only take half damage. Which would be six. Six necrotic damage. All right. Well, then I'm going to use my bonus action to... Um, am I at risk of... Am I going to take an opportunity to attack from this thing? No. Okay. Then I'm just going to back up and uh, use a healing potion. Okay. That's 2d4 plus 4, right? Plus 2. 2D4. It's 2d4 plus 2. For, for what? Uh, potion of healing? I forget. Yeah, I got it here. It's something uh, like that. All right, well, I'm going to drink that and recover 9 health. Okay. And uh, maybe I'll take the dodge action. Well, I think you took your action you took was to um, break out. Yeah. Um, I feel bad leaving Darren in there. He's going to die. Is he? Yeah. Darren, are you going to die? Should I go back in? I wouldn't have to move here. I could just drink the potion and stay here, I guess. I mean, don't kill yourself for me. I don't know. They will probably fan left and right. I guess if they see you go right, then they might also go right. So maybe they'll uh, split up. Son of a bitch. Wes, you've been attacking this guy up here? Uh, no, oh, I have that not. Guy. Um, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll fall back here. I'd say fall back. If they watch you, you run away to the right, then they might follow you, but then they'll see there's two other targets. Okay. Well, I'll fall back here beside Eowyn for now, and then my turn. Sorry, I just didn't want to leave you, you know, if you're going to... Yeah, I know we got it. It is what it is, but um, they can go either way. Whose turn is it? Uh, this guy's turn. Uh, he's going to choose a point right here. 
and a lot of green a lot of green energy is going through here a lot of good green uh their wounds it looks like their wounds start to close a little bit Good rolls. Whoops. And that's his turn. Ah, uh, crash, it's your turn. Oh, he moved a little bit. He's gonna move here. Yeah, I'm back in case I missed anything. Uh, these guys just like regained health. Apparently, okay. apparently, twenty three of it. Your health is trending in the wrong direction. Okay, Crash, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, There are fiendish, uh, necrotic piranhas swimming around you. Twenty-one, uh, necrotic. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bonus action rage, and I'm going to go ahead and attack this dude recklessly. Okay. For 16. Seven and nine. Yeah, hit for 16, and then that's going to end my turn. Okay. Crash, uh, Ion, you're up after Crash. Well, I shall do what anyone in their right mind would do, and that is attack. I'm going to go after the guy that I started hitting at first. And that's not good. Six and eight, uh, both misses. He's not too quick, but the aim aiming uh, didn't help either. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bonus action, spawn my shadow. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move back here. I need to roll some things. Things, I hope. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
Oops, that's supposed to be a plus three. All right now. Okay, yeah, right now there are no fiendish piranhas running around. And put your shadow here. After you win, it's the it's these guys. Sorry. Uh, this guy here is gonna try and escape. He's constricted, right? Yee. Well, he will do his best. He will do his very best. Well, 13, does that get him out or no? It does not get him out. Okay, so he remains restrained. Uh, this guy is going to look at... He is going to look at Karask. Um, Leaf and uh, Iolan, you guys need to make uh, charisma saving throws. Why? No, oh, damn it. I'm like super far from that guy. Oh, you're all the way up here? Oh, yeah. I was looking at this Remember guy. You He's targeting this guy. Well, he's trying to target this guy nonetheless. Maybe it doesn't do anything, but he's still doing that. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, yeah, that guy's got super long reach if he's just yeah. throwing out wisdom saving throws 45 <laughs> feet. God damn. All right. He's going to get a little comfy. Uh, this guy back here. It's going to move here. I don't think he has this. Well, he's not slowed anymore. Uh, he knows that there's some arrows coming from somewhere. I don't think he can aim. Go, um... Maybe he'll come over here and help his friend. And we're gonna, oh, I know what he'll do. He's gonna come over here, help his friend. This guy's gonna come up here and do his thing. Uh, so he's going to, so Darren, this one is going to use this. Oh, he's gonna go back in here. Okay, he's going to use his staff and attack. Okay. The purple dots are helping me keep track of things. That's fine. I just walked away, so I didn't know if, like, there was a debuff or something. Uh, oh, sorry, Kyle. You have 22 hits. Okay, yeah, he's realizing you're a little too big, but he, he's going to poke you for eight. Yeah. I think he's going to bite you, too. Miss. Miss. Okay, this guy over here is going to come up to you, Wes. He's going to go for the bite. And then he's going to go for pincer staff. Um, those are both miss, but he also has advantage. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, this is for, this will go back over to Bite, which is 11, and this is Pinter Staff, 8. Okay, so they all miss. Uh, and then 
then after that, I think they all went, didn't they? I think so. Seems like it. All right, uh, Leaf, your turn. Oh boy, I want to bite the guy that I have um, uh, restrained. Actually, no, I was going to constrict him tighter. Actually, you know what? Fine, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do this. This is gonna help me a little bit. Oops. Get this one off there. Why roll? am I marked purple? For for my for my purposes. All the game boys are purple. What color you wanna be? Uh, blue. For Bill. <laughs> if you guys knew this or not, but Bill is a good I wrestler. I heard that. He's a real good wrestler. Uh, Dave, can I go ahead and roll them? Okay, yeah, you can go ahead. Oh, what are you? I'll just throw in a little stuff. Uh, I'm going to use constructs on the same guy I have grappled, so that's 17 to attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Sixteen crushing. Hey, heads up, guys. Hannah's going to be running the vacuum, so I'm going to type when it's my turn. All right. Okay. Is he still alive, Dave? Yeah. Fucker. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep grappling him. Uh, that's my turn. Or is it? Wait, let me check. Maybe I should. Just going to double check one ability real quick. I apologize. Uh, leaf after leaf, it's uh, um, Leofric Inquisitor. All right, um, all right, I'll, I'll come in and clean up some of the ads. So, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna attack this guy. In front of you? Shit. Yeah, the guy in front of me. Okay. Uh, 13. 13 is a hit. 13 is a hit. All right. See, so I'm going to long sword him. Oh, wait. Yeah, 13 is a hit. Wow, three damage. What bad fucking garbage rolls. Um... Uh, you have to make a constant concentration. He fails. So, here we that three damage. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is your attack? 13? Yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's an 11. Uh, is that so hit? Why is it? No. Because you have Bane. Well, since when do I have Bane on me? When you cast it, you fail your prison saving throw. I didn't. Nobody gave me heads up. Ah, uh, well, that's what the dots for. Remember, I asked you like five minutes ago what it was for. You could have just said then. Well, it's a secret. Not anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, he's throwing the thing from the the Batman, with the with the, the guy with the Tom what's his face, Tom Moyer. I forget what his name is. Thanks, thank you for ruining my secret. Um, wait. F 
after uh, we wait, what? wait. I'm gonna what? use my bonus action to disengage, disengage and pop behind the corner. Oh. Thanks. That's the end of my turn. Okay. All right. Well, this thing here is going to attack Karask. No, I know what he's gonna do. Uh, Karask, make a wisdom saving throw. Molson. Shit. Okay, so all he's gonna do is attack you with his sword thingy. Uh, advantage? 10? Miss. Oh, wait! Wait. Time out. 17. 16. Shit, that still works. Okay, you're good. Uh, that's a miss. Um, this guy looks like he has his hands full. Uh, Crash, get your turn now. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going in for the reckless attack on the this guy. Okay, well, the crit, the critical hit hits. The 12 is an 11. And there's no way you're getting rid of that crit. There you are. Nice. Oh, uh, he says something in some funny language. Uh, after Crash gets a one. Well, I guess I better uh, bail out my buddy Leaf and attack the blue dot guy, so he's not completely surrounded. Hopefully, I can. Ho hopefully, I can hit this time. Well, one, one, seventeen. One seventeen. For nineteen. That's a hard shot. Ah, uh, he's gonna make a save. Okay, he's Not good. Damn it. He's good. At the Owen, it is the whips. All right, we'll start down here at the bottom. This guy's still restrained, so he's going to try to jump out. Oh! He's slippery uh, like a fish. He hits my thing on the way out. Uh, that's his action. He's not going to move. He's going to get his revenge. Uh, uh, this guy here is going to attack. He's going to squeeze back here. This is kind of like a space. He's going to squeeze back here and bite. And then he's going to jag you. He's gonna shag you. Yeah, shag. yeah buddy. Shag you. Seventeen heads. You know how you get around snakes. Yeah. Oops, I'm pushing the button for more damage. I want less damage. I agree. Okay, so he gets you for seven. Awesome. This guy here is going to move here. And 
jump here. I kind of want them to be here though, but whatever. He'll go here, uh, and he is going to use his Pinter Staff on Crest. I need to get they started to surround him. Looks like they want to get him under control. So he had the advantage on the attack, correct? Yes. Okay. 16 and 17. And 17 hits. 17 hits? Yep. Okay, so with the 17, you take... Uh, that's uh, piercing damage. And since you're medium or smaller, you are grappled. And with you being grappled, I think this guy is going to secure, whoopsie, this guy is going to secure his, he's going to take some prisoners. Uh, so he's going to come over here toward Leofic. And bite him. And okay. use pin. Uh, and then use pincer staff. Wes? What's that? Didn't he just attack Wes? Oh, uh, this one did. Okay. And he's gonna use pincer staff. All right. So bite. For three. Pinter staff is eight and grappled. So let's throw up, let's do this for crash too. Let me put him over here. I'll we'll throw a net on him. And we caught another one. I'm catching all the Pokemons tonight. Oh, uh, well, they are. I'm careful, guys. <sighs> Remember, this is the fun gym. Uh, okay, so after that, I think they all went. Yeah, they all went. And now it's uh, Leaf's turn. All right, is it safe to assume the guy on the left is looking bloodier than yeah, the guy he's on bloody. the right? Cool. I'm going to constrict them. Uh, you, you, it, the way it works is it beats your AC. And then you have to use an action next turn to get out. Yeah, it's because it's part of the attack. Uh, um, instead of the specific Okay, thing, 20, yeah. Cool. Are you putting them back in the grapple? Man, what are we playing with? Are we doing, are we doing no. jujitsu on this table? Is this a bunch of Brazilian jujitsu? Dojo of fish people? Middle jitsu. Uh, 10. Is he? Damn it. That's why he's probably still alive, isn't he? Yeah, he's still alive. He's dead. No, he's still alive. God damn it. He's grappled. <laughs> he's grappled. Okay. Uh, after Leaf, uh, we're back at Leofric. Uh, I'm gonna use my action to get out, I guess. All right. 18, 17. Uh, yeah, you did get out. Um. You have bonus action. You can do all your rogue stuff, but you also have a bonus action for your fighter stuff. Yeah, that's a good point. I will use uh, a second win as a bonus action. That's a D10 plus seven. Oh shit, I fucked up. I should have action surged. I, can I? Um... You can still action surge. Yeah, you can do both. 
I can second win and action surge. Yeah, it doesn't say to yeah, use yeah. an action or bonus action. Yeah, you get a whole nother. You get more bonus actions. Yeah, holy shit! All right, so then I will. Um, I'll recover the eleven health action surge, and I'm gonna attack him twice. Fuck! Fuck! God damn it! All night. All oh. night. That's why I didn't want Craig to uh, roll. What a waste. What an absolute waste. All right, well, then I'll bonus action to disengage. And I'm going to fall back a little bit. Damn, bro, why are you leading them towards me? Where else am I supposed to go? I guess I could go down here. All right, yeah, I'll break off down here. Go down there and ring the fire alarm. What fire alarm? <laughs> you want to get out of school early? <laughs> yeah. Do you guys remember the girl that pulled the fire alarm? <laughs> Do you guys remember? No, was this when the cops came in and hogtied her, right? Yeah, I think so. Because. At lunch. Yeah. She got the trace amounts of the whatever that broke over her fingers so they could figure out who pulled the fire alarm. What an idiot. Can't you just use a pencil or something? No, I think it's like you gotta forcefully pull down. Just wear a glove. <laughs> yeah. Great. That, 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 that's like the first rule of being a, a criminal. Just wear gloves. Hey, <laughs> if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. No, that's the first row of a criminal. Wear the wrong size glove. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Rule number one, wear a glove. Rule number two, make sure it's the wrong size. Yes, actually complete the crime wearing tiny gloves. And then they'll be like, yeah, well, I don't know. Um, and then try and put said glove on with your hand completely... Um, Stretched out. Yeah, balled up. That's how people put gloves on. I mean, you know, if you're talking about gloves, it would also be a good idea to wear shoes that are either a size too large or too small. Mm. Not that I condone crime. I'm just Mm. listen. I took a forensics class. When when uh... they said they take they catch people. Uh, people leave behind footprints. There was a guy that showed up to court wearing the shoes that he committed the crime in. Noobs. Uh, whose turn is it? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Okay, so... So, let's see here. I'm confused. I think... Wester grappled, which is different than restrained. Yep. And I guess when Darren does it, it's it's a different, it's a whole different thing because his stat block is saying yeah. rest, it's restrained and restrained. So your speed zero can't benefit from any bonus speed. Um, condition also ends. Okay. Okay, so this guy is going to act as, hmm. Damn, I thought it was going to be, like, restrained or something. All right, he's going to use, uh, make a, make a wisdom saving throw, if you ask. Okay, so he starts doing his thing, and now you suddenly feel like your limbs are getting stiff, and you can't move, and you're held into place. Also, that would have been a five. So...
He says he says in a language you can only guess to be under common or something. Uh, the equivalent transla trans translation of we got them boys. And uh, you haven't, you, you feel paralyzed or like you can't move. Uh, his little sword here is going to attack. Little sword's going to attack. Where is his sword? So let me just look at the paralyzed. Paralyzed creature is incapacitated, can't move or speak. Creature automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls have advantage, and any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. So this thing here, I assume, uh, gets the gets the critical hit thing. So he's within five feet of a creature. Um, um, what is it? With advantage? Yeah, with advantage. Attack with advantage. So we're going to go through here. A 25. And this is a critical hit. So he hits you for 14. Hits you for 14, and then he is... I wonder if he should move. He could move. Could take a step back. I think I'll do that. I think I'll just take a step back. And he'll hang out here. Uh, that's his turn. It is... Crash turn. Now, you can repeat your saving throw. Fifteen. However, uh, that's a 13. Uh, I think you're still paralyzed there. Not looking good, guys. Not looking good. We got this. Uh, Iolan, your turn. Uh, I guess um, I'm going to try and attack the guy that uh, Leaf has wrapped up. Sixteen hit. Twenty-three. Oh, you have advantage. There you go, nice. Oh. 16 hits, 18, or 23 hits. Yeah, those, those both hit. Eighteen, ten, twenty-eight. 28. Oh, uh, he's down. If you do 28 damage. Or no. What is that? Uh, you do 18 and roll that again. That's an attack roll. He rolled a d20. Plus oh, one. shit. Yeah. It moves the dice up when you click it. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. That used to get me a lot. So 18 and 22. Okay, so he's down. He's down and out. But wait, there's more. Action surge on the orange um, guy. Okay, yeah. 22 hits. Jesus Christ, I did it again. No, you got a 21. Oh, I see. No, no, the 22 is... Oh, the 22 is the damage. Um, 
Okay, so 10, 10 and 12, I miss. All right. No, 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 no. 12 hits. Okay. 12 hits. So do you want me? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to roll the damage I'm now. Damage. You know what? I'm just not going to use you know the what? quick things anymore. I'm just going to suck it up and change the rolls each time. There you go. 18. All right, he needs to make a roll here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Okay. Well. Yay. Hey, you guys with the orange thingies on, you can take them off now. Uh, Including the noodle. I got you. I got you. Oops. Okay, very good. Uh, anything else? No, nope, that's it. Okay. Uh, we got the whips going here, and he's gonna come over here. And he's going to bite. And then he's going to jag you. And he does it. Uh, that was to me, right? Yeah. Yeah, they both hit. They both hit. This is bite. And this is pincer. Pincer staff. You total? Yeah. Twelve total. Twelve total. Uh, this guy is gonna come over here, and he's going to take advantage of this situation, and he's gonna go for the bite and the 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 pincer stuff. But he's not gonna do the grapple thing. He's just going to drag you with it. Or no, wait. He already has... Oh, okay. So what he did... Okay, so what he did was uh, when you were paralyzed, he let go. Um, And now he's just going to do it again. So he's going to come up, bite, because he's got to be close to bite. Um... So with advantage, so that is a critical hit. So he bites for nine. Then he comes back here and he uses his pincher staff again. Fourteen and seventeen. The seventeen bike armor class. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna break. He's gonna do that, and you. Is he also grappled? Let's put this up too. Let's call that paralyzed and grappled. Okay. So that is a critical hit. Fourteen max damage. Uh, this whip here, he's going to come out here and he's going to attack the shadow. Ten. And maybe a miss. What, are you still raging? Yes, I am. Okay, just checking. Uh, 
11. He misses. And now I think they all went. And it's Leaf's turn. Oh, boy. I'm going to come at the uh, blue guy here. Uh, I guess not. I will use my bonus action to Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt to move over here for my movement. Okay, I think he might try to okay. bite you. I think he might try to bite you. Cool. 18 hits. 6. Cool. So now I'm going to turn into a uh, giant spitting lizard, uh, just for fun. Actually, no, I, I, the, 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 I'd be a waste of fun. A lizard? I guess a lizard. I will use my bonus action to um, shape shift into a uh, crawfish and ditch the uh, snake form for now. So if you have like a crab looking dude, oh, I'll take okay. it. And then I'm just gonna move the snake into the tunnel area. Let's see, I got a blue crab and I got a I yellow got orange crab. Yeah, blue crab. I'm gonna roll for HP. Cool. All right, cool. That's my turn. Thanks. That's your turn? Yee. Okay. I thought that was a bonus action. Uh, it is a bonus action to shapeshift. So I attacked and then I moved and then bonus action was the change. Okay. Oh, you attacked. That's right. You attacked. Um, uh, Leofic, we're back down, round, round over. <coughs> um, if I if I run up here, is it possible for me to slide into this square? Uh, yeah. Can I go around them? Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of go around them. He might try to attack you. Uh, what you mean? Oh, you mean go go around them and kind of not get attacked? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, you can do that. I'm yeah, you can do I'm that. like shifting, you know, like if I moved, he he could attack me then, right? Yeah, right. There yeah. he could bite you. Yeah, all right. So I want to stay here and I'm going to... Um... Hmm. Let me let me just look at this real quick. Um. Okay. So if I'm right here, can I stick? Can I hit this guy with sneak attack damage? Uh, you need to have another. I think you need to have another ally within five feet of him. Yeah, I to think hit him with sneak right. attack. I think you're right. Uh, that's fine. I will. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, Darren's a little far away. You could uh, hold your attack until Wes gets closer or something. Um. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Can I delay my attack? Sure. All right, so I'll move there. Delay my attack action. Until until somebody is closer, close enough that I can hit both of them. Okay. Right. Um. First of all, 
what I think is going to happen is this is going to... It's going to be the bonus to move this here. And it's going to attack Krask. with advantage with a critical hit with already a critical hit uh, 18 and then He is going to hold up a scepter and attack him. He's going to move closer and attack him. Eighteen on a class. I think that gets through. It does. Um, this does 1d6 plus 3. Uh, it's a critical hit. 1, 2. Uh, 18, and then it does an additional 46 lightning damage. And then he's just going to move back away. And I uh, then it's crash turn. Uh, 21 breaks out. Of paralysis. Okay. Um, and then do I also have to contest the a grapple check? Uh, yeah, you also grappled. So let me update this. Well, paralyzed, but not grappled. Or grappled, but not paralyzed. So that would be a, uh, yeah, athletics for you, I believe. Okay, and you're no longer grappled either. Someone broke free. You have movement if you want to use it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and attack this dude recklessly, too. Well, I don't know if you have any attacks left. Well, I believe grapple only counts as one attack. I mean, the breakout takes an action. Okay. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and... You can move if you want. Uh, I'm going to move, uh, yeah, I guess, um, this guy has a range of 10 feet, right? Uh, 
he could probably bite. He might try to bite you. All right. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and move here, and then that's going to end my turn. Okay. Uh, I'd like to resolve my attack action. Sure. Okay. I need attack damage. Yeah, so... Twenty hits. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Hey, you guys think you died? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Another one. You shouldn't. Okay, so you got a uh, six damage. Yeah, all that, all that for six damage. That's all right. I don't, I don't think it is. But thank you. Um, and then I'm gonna bonus action. Uh, fuck. What am I gonna do? I'd have to disengage to avoid getting hit. Um, yeah, I'll bonus action disengage and slide this way. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. All right. Well, next thing this guy does is going to make is, uh, he's going to make a bunch of green swirly boys all over the place. And start healing. Which one did you say it was? Oh, this guy in the back here, the quarterback. He's gonna he's gonna cast the healing spell. The purple guy. Yeah. Okay, he's. Oh, wait, he's going to use this thing and uh, well, he can't move it, so he has to hit he has to hit the uh, Leoprick. I think that breaks his armor class. And then after that, it is crash turn. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just eat the opportunity attack. Well, how are you looking, Bubby? I'm looking okay. Um, I'm just gonna okay. I'm gonna go ahead. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take the eat the attack and go here and recklessly attack the quarterback. This is gonna be the quarterback sack. Going for the sack. Yep. All right, what'd you get? Let's see here. 21 and 17. Yeah, I'll get him. Seven and eight. Fifteen. He's like, yo, home, smell you later. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish my turn by moving here. Okay. And that's kind of my turn. Okay. After crash, it is a your one. Um, so I'm gonna uh, go after the guy closest to me. Which guy? Uh, the twenty hit. Nineteen, ouch. Oops. I said screw your healing. Hey, you know, like he he has uh he just prepared the right spells. Can't blame him. You did the same. Now I'm just glaring over at that blue crab. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Let Klein know when he's back to take nine damage or whatever. Um, um we need to get some track before him if we need. One of you guys can just um say the good news. Uh after Aeolin we have the whips and the whips are gonna go. Uh this guy here, he's gonna look at you too. He's gonna look at you guys again. Oopsie. Fine, you took damage while you were gone. You took nine, nine from the magic sword. Uh, Crash, and... He broke my armor class? He got a 22. Yeah, okay. I'm just, hey, that's a question anybody would ask. Okay, so... Crash and Crab and... I guess I'll try to cast on this thing, which renders it useless. Uh, make, make, um, we well, can't really see craft that well. I think you can see craft. You have to be able to see him. He doesn't see him. Oh, he says shit. Uh, he's going to go poke the crab then. First, he's gonna poke. Are you a large size creature again? I will double check. Yes. Okay. So he's gonna come up, bite. And after bite, he's going to use his pincer staff. Damn, hit and crit. Oh, he bites your shell. He's trying to. He has a um, uh, a tray with. Uh, he has a he he has a tray of dipping butter in one hand. And uh, 
He's trying to hit you with the underside of his knife to get some crab meat. And then he's going to hit with, uh, I guess I got it. I don't have any, they, okay. So he's going to hit with one, six plus two. Oh, this is a crit. So he critically hits the crab. So he's going after that crab meat. 16 total, yeah. Um, this guy here, he's going to go for, he's, he's, what is he doing? Uh, he's going to try to drag. He's going to go for the bite and the drag. Too. He's hungry for crabs. I'm hungry for crabs. Okay, so he quits the bite. And he misses the pincer thing. So on the bite... Um Wait, another crit. Jesus, fuck. Don't worry. It's only for eight. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. okay. Leaf, it's your turn. Cool. I'm going to attack. Which one of these two is uh, looks more bloody? Neither. This no. one slightly more this banged up. Yeah, I was gonna go for him anyway since he's in the middle of everybody. So for I'm gonna start by attacking him. I get two attacks. I'm gonna see what happens. Oh wait, this guy didn't go. Or did he? Nah. Yeah, it's a miss. Did this guy go? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't think he did. I'm pretty sure he went. Anyone else can can anyone else confirm that? I, I don't I recall him going. Honestly, don't I have no idea. I'm just just, just like you don't recall that guy pissing on the grave. Well, my character well, has no idea. idea. <laughs> he wasn't there. No, I was talking. I was talking about Derek. Oh. <laughs> oh no, he didn't do it. This guy, okay, this guy, he's going to extend. He's going to move up here. He's going to jump in the water. One, two, three, four, five, six. Swim. Because he has a swim speed. Then he's going to jump out. And then he's going to go for the bite and the pincer step. Bite. Pinter staff. Uh, bite is five. He's not playing games. Uh, for five damage. Uh, Darren, you did your thing. You missed. You doing anything else on your turn? I get a second attack, which I'm going to take. Uh, fuck, 12. Does that hit? Yeah, 12 hit, too. Yeah, 12 hits. Yeah, yeah, 12 hits. Cool. I'm going to roll for damage, but he is grappled. Not restrained, just grappled. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to hit him. Let's give him a net. For seven. Uh, he takes seven bludgeoning. After that, it is Leofix. Uh, all right. Um... You get sneak attack on this guy. But would it be better for me to go after the big bad with Wes? Potentially, probably. Because of Wes, right? That's true. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Uh, unless you're in series, like, how's your health? I mean, I've got, I'm just fighting two people. Um, so one being dead would help, but uh, also the healer can heal, so that's a thing. Um, technically, I could hit both of these targets. With, yeah. with Maybe I'll do that. All right, so I'm going to be throwing some whip around here. I'll whip my hair back and forth.
16 and 21. Uh, both of those hit. Okay. Uh, both of those targets have their speed reduced by 10. Oh, that was once. Uh, maybe it is. Sorry, let me check. Once per turn? Yeah, once per turn. Sorry about that. So Which let's one? have this guy. You get the boot. Okay. Yeah, he's getting the boot. All right, so he gets hit for four, and then the other guy gets hit for six, and then here's the sneak attack damage on Biggie Boy. <laughs> Two. Yep. This guy gets hit for six? Okay. Uh, yeah, the guy in front of Darren takes six, and then uh, the other guy up top takes six. They both take six damage. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I have my bonus action. I wonder if I should do anything. Um, all right, I'll just um, I'll just stay here. Okay. That's the end of my turn. All right, um, some black piranhas start to swirl around again. Can I give him an aura? Can you guys see this? Nope. Was that a yep or a uh, nope? Yep. I do not nope. see an aura. Okay, let me make it. I think I know what I have to do. Okay, advance C, right? Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay, that's what I got. Okay, so he's going to do that. Um, So, that anybody in here see um, black piranhas start to sw uh, swirl around? Um, Wes and uh, uh, Leofric and Crash need to make wisdom saving throws. Crash, you save. So you take half damage. This is necrotic. This is his way of trying to get you guys to leave. Holy shit. Oh my god. I have one health. Uh, Wes, you take half, or I don't know how it works. I take or six. quarter. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I take a quarter. Okay. And then. What am I going to do with. What would he do with this little sword just hanging out here that he can't move? He can't do anything with. He could attack. I think he's going to try to attack Leofic. He cast the spell so he doesn't... He can't... Wait, 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 wait. I know what he would do. Can he so use this is thing? That a is that a concentration thing? Because he took damage. No. Okay. Um... If he casts a spell, I'm confused. If he casts a spell, he looks like he's concentrating okay. on something right now. If he casts a regular spell, can he he can still move this as the bonus action? 
Yeah, the Surge is yeah. the bonus action. It's yeah. not casting. Uh, it it's well. a bonus action to cast, and then if he casts it, then it's then he has to do the catch up. I think he would move it over here. He's a little worried about craft. I don't think he's worried about Leo Frick right now. Um, but I think Leo Frick would be worried about him. Uh, okay. Craft. Seven. Miss. Okay. Um, and then I think he might even... Retreat. His speed Back is... Back in here a bit. Yeah, you can only make a couple steps. Can anybody see back there? Can uh, back there? yeah, yeah, I'll let you. Yeah, you can see back there a little bit. Just a little area here. Twenty six hits. Fifteen. And then he's going to make a save. Eight. So his piranhas disappear. And his turn, Crash, get your turn. I'm coming up here and I'm going to attack him recklessly. Uh, 16, 16 hits. Oh, wait, 18 and 16 both hit. Fourteen and 18. Oh, no, he dies. Yay. Yeah, that's gone too. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead then and start making my way back down the tunnel with my remaining movement. Um, going to move there okay. and end my turn. Okay, I only it's your turn. You got this guy biting and stabbing at you. Well, he's in for a rude awakening because I am going to sacrifice 15 feet of my movement to change positions with my shadow. I don't think that's going to be a good time for him. Um, and then I am going to shoot two arrows at him. Okay. 16, 18, both hit. Uh, 21 and 18. He's just concentrating on something. Um, 21 and 18. Let's see here. Oops. Uh, he is, he took, one of those hit him in the throat, and he's not liking it. He's not liking it at all. Um, anything else after Aeolin, uh, it's Whip's turn. He's going to go now. He's going to attack that thing that trade places with you. 
he's not having it. He's gonna bite, then he's going to jag it and miss. I think both misses. Um, this guy over here is going to attack Mr. Crab with bite and a jag. Pinter staff. Uh, 15 hits. 15. Uh, the donut for eight. This guy is grappled. He's going to try to escape. He has advantage. 19. Success. Gets them out. Uh, he gets free and he gets ready to attack. And they all seem kind of mad. They're very much in a frenzy, like a feeding frenzy after after that guy went down. So after that, it's Leaf's turn. I'm gonna attack this one. Eighteen. Yeah. I'm actually gonna hit him with the other claw too, or at least attempt to. Uh, 13. The AC is a hit. Uh, just 10 damage total to that guy. After the leaf, Leo effect. I think I might also uh, use a hidden step to turn invisible, and then uh, attempt. I don't know. I guess I'll have to let go of him so he's not grabbled. But I'm gonna attempt to move through this guy's space while invisible, and then uh, kind of get the fuck out of there a little bit. I just read the invisible rules, and I don't think you provoke attack of opportunities. That's what I like to hear. I'm actually going to go this way. So I'm just going to snip him as I'm going by and then turn invisible and uh, hide around the corner. Okay. Invisible crab. Uh, Leo Frick, you went. You want to um, move it up to you. I use uh, I use the health potion and uh, I don't know, man. I only have seven health, so I'm gonna have to go. Uh, yeah, I guess I could hit him with the whip once. Yeah, I did use a pot. Yeah, so I don't have the action economy. I don't probably use the pot. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move over here. I have gotten nothing but complete garbage rolls this whole evening. <laughs> Uh, that's the end of my turn. Yeah, my whole life playing D and D, and my actual life. <laughs> it's a crossover episode tonight. Man, you failed your um, con save being born. It's true. <laughs> uh, after Leo Frick is back a crash. All right. Twenty-five and 
seventeen fourteen on the guy in front of you. Yep. Seventeen is a hack. Fourteen is a slash. And he's also down. So they count. Nice, dude. Uh, I'm going to move in front of this guy and then end my turn. Go on. I'm going to shoot this guy with two arrows. Okay. 20 is a hit. For 18, he goes down. I'm going to take one step and then end my turn. He's going to go after you, Crash. He has advantage, right? I guess I do. 21. 12. Uh, you're getting bit. Getting the bite for five. A leaf, your turn. Oh boy. Okay, good. I'm gonna ready to come back. Just uh I become visible at the start of my turn, and I'm just going to do my shit. Well, you, oh, you're back like, here? Both of yeah, both of, yeah, that hits. I roll both attacks together, so that is 13 damage. So you're getting hit twice. Yep. Right? And he's uh, grappled. Grappled. 13 damage. That's my turn. Yeah, Fritz. <laughs> Lee Craverson. Uh, give me one sec. Um, thanks for waiting. Sorry. Um, uh, I'm gonna shoot this guy with my short bow. Maybe. It's gonna be hard, sh hard shot. Because Wes and the crab are in front of him. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. I, I don't have that much health. Um, <laughs> actually, he does bane up on you too. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck it. Make two attacks, 19 and 17. Okay. Uh, that's 15. Oh, that's, that one still goes through, even if you had the bonus armor. Um, 13, 12, 11, that one goes through too. Okay. They both hit. That's a, one of them the sneak attack too, so roll sneak attack damage. <laughs> Ten. Ten. 
Man, I'd hate to do more than 15 damage this whole night. Well, I'll have to give you a speeding ticket if you do. Um, and then I'm gonna bonus action dash out. Because I only have seven health. And that's the end of my turn. And I'm gonna AFK because I need to make a call. Crashed. Miss. Hit. Ten. Yeah, that ends my turn. I got one. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to attack them. <laughs> they don't even know they're getting damaged. Uh, the sharpshooter, you can shoot in between them. Oh, wait, you're attacking this. Wait, that guy's dead. Okay, yeah, sharpshooter, you're attacking in between them. Those both it. Seventeen and sixteen. I think that's gonna be a good night. Yeah. Good night. He's down to. Oh my! Let me figure out the XP for that one. Hey, sorry, I'm back. Oh, it's over. Nice. Yep. Well, that was a fun fight. Holy shit. Wes, how's your back? How's my back? Yeah, from carrying the <laughs> from carrying the bulk of the encounter. Wow, well, fuck you. Is a good bit. Well, I mean, I'm, how's everybody's back? How's your back, guys? <laughs> How are your backs? Mine's all right. Yeah? What what about you, uh Iolan and Leaf? I mean it's a little sore. I've been sitting in a computer chair since about seven. Yeah, 20. that's how I feel too. So I'm going to assume a uh, short rest might be in our future. Yeah. Loot, loot, please. Did you say loot, please? Yes. I'm requesting to know what the loot is. Okay, we'll go in here and find, we'll go and go and find it. <laughs> nah, I'm uh, gonna. Hold, I'm right clicking and I'm holding down the shift key, so I should be able to loot all the bodies at once. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I only have seven HP. Uh, uh, Leofic, roll a uh, perception check. 
You don't, you don't have Bane up anymore. Uh, you hear murmuring down here. That's great. I only have seven health, so I'm not really down to investigate anything. Go check it out. No, I don't think I will. Yeah, Clyde, I can heal you a little bit. I uh, you know, don't want to blow all my emergency heals, but uh, if you spend some hit dice, I can at least pass you like one more heal or something if that works. Uh, we'd have to be resting. Yeah, assuming uh, we do rest, if we um, maybe instead of going down order, if we move elsewhere. What about we'll... up here? Is there a door up here? You said, Dave, we could shut this door and rest in here. Get the mud waddle door thing that's open. It's uh, yeah. uh what the fuck is this door made out of? It's this mud waddle barrier. It's just a bar it's like a barrier made with like sticks, mud, and water. Are you gonna go in there? Oh, yeah. by the way, I, I forgot to describe this room to you guys, but eh, it doesn't matter. This smells bad, and there's meat and gnawed bones of dubious origin. Um, if you go in here, if you go in here, there's glowing coals on a crude, uh, like, fireplace. Ceiling is about 15 feet. He got skinned and crap on the floor. Uh, and looks like at the nest, along with, has some items in here. Including um, skull, bones, hide. Looks like weapons of perhaps defeated foes. And a small square black. Um, what is this thing? Are you going down here? No, okay. just, so like I went up in the room and then I'm yeah. meditating yeah, yeah, I get and you. control on that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's some stuff in this room. Um, and if you go over there, what is that? A D eight? A resting. Oh, no, the D8s where I can put a heal and plan and heal on Wes, just uh, okay. a little bit. So you can see and hear through here. Uh, you hear some kind of what low trilling or low murmurs, and you actually hear a lot of it. And some of it's very, very high pitched. Um, and occasionally you'll see the glisten of a smooth sheen or skin. And heads kind of poking around the corner. Uh, they look at you, but they they look at you, but sometimes they 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 just kind of go back over. They peer over, and then they just kind of go back. You'll probably see you a little bit. Is it safe to rest here? Also, there's a chest right here. I'm standing watch. Like, I'm sitting over here meditating, and my echo's down here, so I can alert anybody if they start coming up. 
What kind of a rest are we taking? Short. I'm going to start yeah, some hit You diet. can rest. You're watching these people. They can these things down here. They appear to be a bit skittish. They can recover. And in the chest. Is the chest locked? No. Okay. Uh, roll a perception check. Not your perception check? Yeah, but I'm in the room. In the hallway back here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, in here. Uh, yeah, it's not very good, but that's that's what it all. Uh, you don't you kind of rough around and look around a little bit. You don't see anything, but the chest is pretty obvious. Um, with the it's like a battered chest with the leather clasp on it, um, and it is containing. Do, 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 do. Your perception. Okay. Well, immediately you find a uh, amid the mess, you spot a square of black silk hides. Black silk. Um, I read that wrong. Amid the mess, a small square of black silk up here hides a ruby. Ah, uh, so you pull out this red ruby. And it looks uh, very valuable. Probably somewhere around 300. And then you also see 1,500 brass coins. Which is, again... ...30 pounds. Do you get action surge back after short or is it after long? Short. Oh, yeah. Figured I should ask the action surge master. He's not here. He's back in Blazingdale because he's afraid of some bats. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he is. I witnessed that war fight a pit lord, and he's afraid of some bats. Well, oh, maybe the bats, maybe that pit lord should have came out with, like, you know how uh, John Woo movies have all the doves? Maybe he should have came out with bats. You're and right. And he would have been terrified. You're right. Would have been terrified, and it would have been thematic. All right, if we are good to go, I'd say we can continue downward. Yeah, I'm with Kyle. Yeah, get HP back. Yeah. All right, 
So what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Well, I'm messing around with my dumbbells. <laughs> and again, I forgot I didn't work out my, uh, uh, fuck, I don't even know what the muscle's called, but I gotta work it out. Rear delt, rear delt. Where are you guys going? Moving downward. Okay. Ugh. Um. Oh, okay. You push your guy all the way over here. Okay. Uh, the light is a bit. It's very dim, but uh, craft. You can see a bit. Uh, uh, basically, you see what appears to be an entire little nest of these guys. And uh, as you get closer, they start to get uh, very agitated and excited. And there's little tiny, like a uh, half or dozen, like two dozen or so miniature versions of them. And they look poised to fight. Um, yeah, so this is the col. this appears to be like the colony's eggs and hatchlings, and they're ready, they look like they're going to, they look like they want you to back off and make threatening gestures. So guys, what do you think? There's five of them there, and they, they're pretty tough. Anybody else? Should I sit down and see if I can move my shadow uh, this way? And see if they um, attack it or not? Alternatively, if we think they're going to attack, I could open up with Moonbeam. And fuck their day up. Especially if somebody just stands here and blocks the door. Like, you could just have Wesson stand here and take the dodge action. And then just kind of uh, lock the ball on those right with Moonbeam. Well, if... Uh... Wes wants to get hit again. Or you could move beam and turn into a bear. Yeah, the only thing is um, if he goes up in one turn, he could dodge, which would uh, decrease the chance to hit him. And if he's raging, he'll take less damage. Uh, whereas if I get hit, I could lose the one beam. Are these like little egg sacks or are they kids? Like, they're little kids. They're little kids. You guys want to kill little kids? You don't? Okay, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you guys are going here like um, Tower 66 Jedi Temple bullshit. Well, yeah, let's go with Kyle the Deer and just uh, have Shadow walk past. And if they don't bother us, then um, we could maybe just not even need to take action. Because if. Uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ. If. Uh, I mean, you might be the one that's uh, not on board with killing the, the little. Little kid things, little kid murlocs. Uh, so in any case, uh, if they start to chase after my shadow, you could just drop the moonbeam right here, and we're still in the same situation. 
Good. Let's try that. All right. So I'm gonna sit down and start meditating, so my shadow can go beyond thirty feet and uh, start walking it out. Oh, uh, Leo Frick, toss me your lantern. How about a torch? Torch. Yeah. Torch. I have some. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Are you you good? <laughs> there, there, there was a great uh, there's a great warrior we once knew that that's all he said he just he didn't know all the words he just knew his favorite <laughs> oh that was great yeah a, a torch okay so I have a torch in my echo and I'm gonna move it into the shadow over here <sighs> All right, well, when your shadow goes over there, they grab their weapons. <gasps> One of them tries to strike. One of them jumps out and strikes them. Well, I guess we're killing some kids. 22 AC. <laughs> oh, that shit goes through. Bam. Uh, Crash, you can probably see. Did he drop the torch? Yeah, the torch would be like on the ground here. Yeah. Down here. I'm going with the Jarvis option. All you need is a red Corundan ingot to summon baby Ragnaros, and then you only need to kill 32 villagers. So I'm assuming that means we're rolling for initiative. Yeah, if you yeah. want to fight. Joris would very happily massacre all these people. Happily. Oh, whoa, whoa, we got what, 18 and 315. Who wants to go first on the 15s? It's usually based off of decks. Yeah, but I think they're equal. I'll have the game. The one with the uh, least character decks goes first. Uh, my dexterity is 14. Who got? Where's Leaf at? I got 13. 13. Okay. Hey. Uh, Eolan got an 18. I got him. Shit, I'm going first. All right, so he, had, he actually attacked your shade. Yeah. Well, are we gonna kill them? Oh wait, who? Yeah. Who's going first on the fifteen? Because wait, if you let Wes go for it, you can get sneak attack when he moves. Uh, forward. yeah. Why don't we do that? Why don't I go first since I rolled the eighteen? Yeah. Why, yeah, don't, we... why don't why Why don't we let Kyle go first? <laughs> wait, wait. How about everybody skip the rounds and I'll just go pick them off? Every other turn, delay your turn so that the DM has to fuck up the order. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hate playing with the guys. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I don't know why you're from. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and get some money back for the guy that attacked me. Okay. <clears throat> you don't attack me. I attack you. I think he said BRB bio. Do you want to go first or I'll let you have sneak attack because I think he's going to want to set that up anyways for you. Oh, well, he's back, so we can just let him go. But I, oh. I appreciate that anyway. It's pretty rad. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to move here. Actually, no, let's just go ahead and get this show on the road. I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bonus action rage. And I'm going to start carving these guys up. Carving. That looks like a crit and a hit for the 17. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 37. And 13, and he's down. Yeah, Frick. All right. You guys want to see a magic trick? How to kill two characters in two <laughs> sessions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. There's a crit. It's about time I get a good roll. Yeah, a crit and a hit. All right, excellent. And sneak attack damage, right? No. Mm. Nope. 
Doesn't look like it. Okay. Craig, CC says hi. Oh, hi, CC. She says hey back again. I don't know. Back him with sword. Uh, yeah, two sword strikes, uh, 18 damage. Okay. Who's after we are? Hey, oh, what yeah. did you know? I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, DM. I want a bonus action disengage. And slip back around the corner. I'm not having that. That's the end of my turn. Sorry, it's a uh, part of cunning action, so. This guy or this gal. Oh, it's just Murloc with lipstick. I'm uh, going to use Pinsir Staff on Krask. With the advantage, I assume? Uh, yeah, he has Eight. advantage. 18. Uh, that hits. All right, that's four. We'll throw the net on you. I'll throw the net on them so we know who's going what. And then I think this one here is going to... Look down the hall and so is this one. And uh you have your shadow up. Okay, I think he's going to um, make two make two deck saves, uh, Iowan, and then Karask you too. Um, is this, are the deck saves, um, am I able oh, to Oh, with grappled? No, am I able to see, um... Yeah, the, your speed, it's just your speed is zero. You can't do anything with your speed. Okay. Uh. And you said go ahead and make two deck saves? Yeah, yeah right. also Iolan as well uh yeah you saved fine uh i don't want to make two deck saves nine and 22 um okay so you had to beat 12. uh so you take two radiant damage After that, it's Leaf's turn. No, get it. Get it. Oh boy. Okay, well, I'm going to move forward enough so I can see all the, the action. And I'm going to cast everybody's favorite Moonbeam. I'm going to cast it at third level, I think. Okay, so it's roughly centered on there. So I'm going to go up, cast Moonbeam, and then just kind of uh, move back. And uh, that's... 
it's my turn. Sure about that? So, yep. Sure we're going to... Yep, I'm sure. That's my turn. I'm going to do that in deeps. Okay, uh, I only back to you. Can I, am I allowed to stand here? Yeah. Or do I have to move there? You can move back there. I'm allowed to be there? Yeah, you're just leaning. And then I'm, uh, is this guy in snare? Is that a net? No, he's net and he's got this guy. He's got trash. Oh, he has Karash. Yeah, Karash I just put him. Happen. I just put the net on there. Okay. Eleven. So apparently, 11, I don't. Eleven hits. Apparently, I don't do anything. Oh, it does. Yeah, the eleven does. Right. Yeah. Nineteen. On the net guy. Okay. Yeah. I know they have applied in there and freaks them out a little bit. Uh, Karask, uh, your turn. Okay, so is this Moonbeam? That red thing's Moonbeam. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and skirt, uh, go around the outskirts of it. And go into this. You're, you're grappled. Oh, yeah, I'm grappled. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and break that then. Okay, you break out of grapple. You have uh, movement left. I'm going to go over here, and that's going to end my turn. Gotcha. Uh, the outbreak. All right, um, oh, hey, I was drawing my circle, uh, but that's moving. Um, so if I stand there, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, sorry about that. Didn't think that one through, but you've got a whip. The better question is, can my whip? Can I move into this square and can my whip hit this guy from where I'm at? Yeah. Okay. So I guess I could hit both of these with sneak attack damage on one. Uh, if you can hit him in the sneak attack. Okay. Cool. That's what I will do then if I hit. I mean, her. Go ahead. Trying to make me feel bad. Yeah, they're the they're the real wall of mom right now. I I was the only one out of this whole group that said let's not attack them. But here we and are. Look at you now. Well, you know, I just got lumped in with these guys doing my job. Just came out. Murder hobos. <laughs> only uh, only could be good till level seven. <laughs> um yeah and that's when i that's when i showed up so i didn't i didn't have to do anything um 11 and 22 those both hit they both hit mm -hmm. all right um 
So here's the whip damage plus sneak attack damage. Okay. Oh, shit. Nice. 15. 15. And then I will um, bonus action, disengage, and pop back around the corner. And then my turn. But it's not entertaining for them. Um, that one is their turn. Moonbeam's just getting these three. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and roll that. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and roll their con save. Yeah. It is a con save or take three d ten, okay. and they have to be okay. the fourteen. Damn, so one of them takes 20, the other two take 10. Uh, this one takes 20. You just did 40 damage. Fuck yeah. Uh, and now they are going to go. This one is going to run. Back here and hide. Oh, uh, these guys are going to come out. Uh, okay. we're going to, this Should one's going to grapple. Use the grapple thing on craft. Uh -oh. This one is going to uh, craft and craft. Ah, can I see ya? He can move out here so he can do it. He'll move out here. Kareth, Iowan, and um, Leaf make charisma saves. 15. Hey, they attacked us. We tried to walk by peacefully. I only in craft. Charisma saving throw. Charisma? Yeah, charisma saving throw. Oh, good. Ah, oh, man, everybody saved. Yeah, nobody gets an orange top. Um, this one is <laughs> this one is gonna go up here. No, they're gonna. What are they gonna do? Oh, well, yeah, they're gonna go up here, and they're gonna bite and attack Leo Frick. Well, no, they gotta keep going. I think going up here. Do I get an attack? Yeah. Yeah. Yeet. 24. Uh, I'm going to try and hit her with my sword as she runs by. We know you want to use the whip. Yeah, if you use the whip, you can hit them when they uh, make the car. Uh, actually, Dave, could I mean, I and I don't know the answer to this. Could I use trip attack as she runs by? It's, it just says when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend a superiority die to attempt to knock the target down. You add the superiority die yeah. to next damage. All right, Probably. so I, I'll actually I'll try and trip her um, with my whip. So... Okay. Whip damage, and then it's a D8. 
nine. And the prone? <clears throat> um, if the target is large or smaller, it must make a strength saving throw on a failed save. You knock the target prone. Nice. Excellent. So she falls. Nice. That's fucking awesome. All right. Shit, man. She's trying to pull some janky shit. She falls, but uh, you're the only one that thinks she looks hella thick. Um, <laughs> um, as she's prone. Uh, let's let's uh, uh, crash. Let's see. This one's gonna go bite and attack. Bite and pincer for the crit. This one's probably gonna move over here too and do the same thing. Because you're in the nest. Oh, that one now has to make a save. Okay. Let's do, yeah, we'll do that. 24. Oh, I'm going to get any, any damage. Uh, bite for Kyrask. Thirteen damage for the pincer staff crit. Um, you are grappled. The other one is going to do it too. Miss on bite. Pincer staff. Uh, Get you for seven. Uh, she has to make a save. Eleven. I think that's a failure. Yep. So thirteen radiant. Thirteen radiant. Mm. That I think is all of their turns. Yeah. Then it is Leaf's turn. Cool, I am going to Ooh, that's right. Cool. So I'm going to use Thorn Whip on this one, which uh, apparently is a melee spell attack, so I'll have advantage instead of disadvantage. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and hit this person. Oh, crit. Yeah. Um, 18 damage on this, on that one. And uh, I'm just going to pull it forward five feet. Pull it here. Okay. Yep. Well, I guess if I'm allowed to do that, I don't know if I can really pull it there, can I? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then I'll do that in case Leafrich needs to get out, but I don't want him to be next to the you know, island. So that will be my attack, and then I will... Uh, See ya. That's my turn. Uh, after, uh, okay, after Leaf, it's uh, back at the top with the one. That's you, Kyle. Oh, he said my turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna attack the guy that's laying on his back in the middle of a fight. So why would you do that? Being a bum. I think you have disadvantage if they're prone. And you use a range attack. I have attack. disadvantage? Yeah, if it's a ranged attack. But if it's a melee attack, you'll have advantage. Oh, well, in that case, then I'm going to attack this guy. Uh, 
Uh, 11 hits. What are you? Oh, 21. Those look like attack rolls, dude. That's a damage roll. Yeah. <laughs> look like attack rolls. Uh, okay, so that one sinks in. They do not like deep arrows. Uh, then, after I yell in, we have back to where it crashed. Uh, you have the netomatic again. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll to break out of this. Sixteen, get that. Okay. And let's see, I have movement left. I have movement left. Yep. Mm, well, I'm gonna go ahead and move then, so I don't get keep getting stuck in that omatic. I'm gonna move up here. All right, we're gonna get three bites. Okay. Bite. 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 Uh, the seventeen and the twenty-three hit. Twenty-three. 17 and 23. Bite and bite. Uh, that's going to be my turn. Uh, I'm going to attack. Uh, I'm going to attack this lady while she's down. Do I... Can I attack with advantage since she's not oh, yeah. prone? Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, here we go. 1723. All right, two hits. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I'm going to hit her with a uh, long sword. Hey, does sneak attack only work with finesse weapons? Um. Uh, uh, yeah, it must use a finesse or range weapon. Um, yeah, I guess I could back up and strike her with whip for the extra damage. I don't want to back up too far because of these guys over here. You could uh, sort of back up through her and just go up this yeah, way. Yeah, and then hit her. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah. All right, cool. So it's going to be um, 2d4 plus 4 for the whip. Nice. Wow, awesome. 12, and then another 4 for the sneak attack damage. 16. 16, yep. Some good luck. And um, that is the end of my turn. Um, okay, so it is their turn now. She's going to get up. Which is half speed, I think. Uh, and then she's going to start running down the hall. Wes, you should be able to attack her. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Karas gets an attack there. He wants. Nineteen heads. Nice. 16, they, uh, she falls on the ground. 
running. Uh, this one is going to come back out here. Please, Koyash, uh, Koyash, make a dexterity saving throw. Nineteen. Okay, so you succeed. Uh, these two start their turn in moonbeam. Four and three. Uh, this other one is gonna move through it. They take twelve. They take twelve. twenty-four. The other one takes twelve. Okay. Twenty-four. That's like 50, 60 something damage. Yay, yeah, buddy. Um, I only make a dexterity saving throw. Well. Radiant damage. <laughs> They're running back here. Wow, they're leaving their children. They're trying not to. It kind of looks like they just left them there. Um... Gonna come up here and use Pinster Staff on Crash. His favorite attack. Uh, eight damage and grappled. Uh, it's gonna go over here. Um, Crash, Iowan, and Leofric make. Uh, Charisma saving throws. Well, twelve saves. Great. Nice job, everybody. Golf clap. Other oh, turned over, Leaf. It's your turn. Oh boy, so I don't know what's happening in the battlefield, so I'm going to step around the corner and uh, see what's happening down here. Oops. And I am going to uh, move Moonbeam and 60 feet and just basically try to block off their escape. So that would be my, uh, my standard uh, action. So I'm going to move it there so it's in these squares. And, you uh, just, what's up? You should have just uh, taken it like like this, <laughs> <laughs> and then over there. All right. So yep, I'm gonna move it, and then um, I'm gonna step back in my little cover to like being safe. So that is my entire turn. Uh, Yolan, go ahead. Attack them. The closest one. Okay. Two misses. Oh, come on. <laughs> and my turn. It seems like I got a case of the Craigs. Uh, Crash, your turn. <sighs> All right, here we go. Uh, 16. 16 breaks out. Okay. Moving here, and that's going to end my turn. 
Okay. Let's do crash get blue prick. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna whip some people. Um, I guess I could try and trip one of these again. They both uh, hit. All right. So ten and then three. Thirteen. Nice. Um And I think I'm going to move back into this corner right here. And end my turn. OK. Uh, this one is going to sh um, start screaming and going to run. Oopsie. Uh, this one's going to disengage. Run back here and back with the young ones, and you're just gonna hear this horrible scream. This one's gonna a, a bite crash. And then try Pinter Staff again. Uh, both miss. And it's going to move back here. Uh, these two here have to make saving throw. Six and six. Twenty-three. Uh, they see the... Uh, They see the other mom, they see all these other bodies laying around and they just start letting out this horrible, horrible scream through their sharp teeth. And you hear the sound of like, when they fall down, it's like, uh, almost like a tire hitting the asphalt kind of sound. So after that, it is Leaf's turn. Leaf, I, uh, I can't hear you. Hit. Ten. No. Uh, ten. You're just typing with the toothbrush in your mouth. Um, after we put it on down, it's a yelling turn. Well, um, I'm going to step like right here. I'm going to bonus action, uh, spawn my shadow here, 
and I'm going to take him across the hall, right beside the moonbeam, oh, no. right here, and then I'm going to attack. 15, 22, both hit. All right, with the second one, the, you're, fight, you're doing the closest one, they fall over. Um, and all these little ones just start to, to, to wail and cry at the same time. And this weird choir of fish song. Uh, after that is Crash Turn. Uh, at this point, this one is just kind of on the ground, grasping at the little ones and and trying to protect them and looking at you with these wide-eyed, with a wide-eyed horror. I mean, we could try it back away since it's clearly scared now. Yeah, we could uh, let that one go, uh, maybe force it to give up its weapon or something. I'm going to raise my axe above my head and let out the most guttural of all yells. And then I am going to swiftly bring my axe down right by my side. And then turn around and walk away. And then I'll pull out my oversized long bell and shoot her directly in the chest. <laughs> Oh, they're just screaming at you. There's fish blood everywhere. Oh, what do we see over here, by the way? Oh, um... Not really much. Some bones and scattered stuff. Some refuse. Not only did we kill a family, but, uh... It was All for that nothing. For nothing. What did for nothing? We got XP out of it. We did a horrible thing. Hey, they attacked us. That is true. We just stood our ground. This is their nest. Like this is where all their young are. Anyone we didn't step into the, the nest. We were walking past it, and then they hit us. Yeah, and uh, as we go through, I'm gonna point at the. Uh, orc bodies that are skinned and eaten been like that would have been us had we not defended I ourselves I care not for the fate of an orc what do you think that the dwarves would do I mean this is technically their get the fuck out of my system. mountain they would have said get the fuck out of my mountain see some old gregs walking around here <laughs> You made the right decision not to slaughter the younglings. So I guess we're going down this staircase. It's like the last thing we got left. Mm -hmm. We go down this staircase and uh, then 
Dave just LOLs and says there's no heart of the porch. We went up this other staircase, right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's where he died the oh, first yeah. time. Oh, yeah, how could I forget? We didn't go up this one on the right, though. We uh, That's the one we haven't been able to go through yet. The key for it is, uh, I guess, presumably down here. It's in a dungeon cell. Yep. Oh, boy. We'll give you the next room. Face. I always got to make sure I have my ball going. Yeah. All right. We'll throw it over here real quick. Oh, huh. well, you go down the stairs. Nice. Uh, uh, a loud, uh, a loud waterfall spills down the northwest wall of this cabin into a deep pool that was from the water above uh, the wa the uh, the rocky walls glisten with spray and a weird array of colorful minerals and strange lichens lend an unearthly beauty to this spot a fast moving stream runs to the south from the pool at the base of this falls and nearby natural passage heads in the same direction. A set of narrow stairs cut into the rock wind up to the north, and two old wooden doors stand in a wall dressed of stone to the east. Here are the doors. Uh, is the waterfall. Where we're uh, calling it, we're playing a little more. I call it here if you want. I just wanted to give you some different scenery. Yeah, I'm glad we had to see what's down here. You're the one that gets up the earliest. So. Uh, I can I can keep playing until like 11:30. Yeah, I got a I got a little warmy. You guys want to go a little more? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, if everybody else is good. Dave, are you good with that? I'm okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm working from home tomorrow. Nice. The rest of us work from home every day. I get two out of five, so. Thank God. <laughs> I th thank God we work from home every day, cause, oh, that's all I'll say. I'm just, I'm just, real glad that we can do that. Cool. Uh, so who wants to lead the way?
I run into the room like a jackass. Why don't you scout with your shadow since you can send it a thousand feet? Because I just crit rolled my dexterity saving throw. <laughs> so fuck your traps. <laughs> You didn't have to roll that, but thanks for doing that. Save me from uh, having to mention it. Yeah, I don't know. You just get this really loud waterfall. It's just kind of spraying, making everything really damp. Water just kind of going back down this way. I'm going to check the, the door. Like I got two stone doors. Is, uh, is this one unlocked? That one? Yeah, they, they, you don't see any lock on it. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to step back. I'm going to check the water. Yeah, do you want to look in it? In case there's anything... In it, I guess. Yes. I'm going to step back to the staircase and uh, start meditating and have my shadow try and open the door. Okay. Um, first of all, in the water, you see like these little white fish just kind of swimming around. Uh, Shadow does not open the door. The door appears to be swollen shut somehow. Okay, I'm going to try out this one then. Can you try that one? Uh, that one does not want to open either. You could try pulling them a little harder. That might require a strength check. To force it open. It seems more like uh, Karaska's uh, style, but I'll try. Did not succeed. Yeah, it does not open. Uh, yeah, you're able to rip it open. And inside, you see what looks to be some kind of old. Maybe a store, what used to be a storeroom? I'm not really sure. Uh, um, at least get a little farther than that. Door gives away grudgingly, revealing a low chamber dressed of, of dressed stone. Chambers filled with what? It looks like to be rotten food. Uh, barrels of salted pork gone bad. Um, sacks of flour, grain covered in russet mold. Turned, uh, tons of uh, cider turned to vinegar. Uh, two open archways in the east wall lead to a similar room, and two more openings are dimly visible beyond. The floor just past the First archway gleams wetly. Um, can I come in here and make a perception check? Mm hmm All right. A 19. Uh, so... 
you're looking around, you're seeing lots of supplies. You're seeing very, you're seeing nothing that looks um, salvageable. All of it is just very. Mm, Broken, rotten, old, particularly in this room. Uh, you're guessing that perhaps the mold held guidance? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to cast it. You just make another ability okay. check. Okay. For example, dorm. Um, so with that, you look beyond into the second room and you notice it looks a little bit more wet than the room you're in. Putting the fact that the waterfall and things are closer to you, you would suspect that this room that you're in right now would be in that condition. So that just kind of sticks, kind of sticks out to you. Um, all right. Um, I'm going to continue and look over and through here. Okay. All right, I can see back in here. Yes, it's much of the same. Uh, and as you walk over there, as you walk about right here, something, something gets you. Something gets you. Some patch of gray, wet, slick, slimy ground uh, that looks, uh, for one moment ago, looks like a patch of wet stone um, jumps out and attacks you with surprise. And, and also, one moved over here and gets you, Darren. Want to pick up here next time? Yeah. Yeah, sounds okay. good, dude. I'm going to make a note. Really, uh, really fun, really fun session. Thank you. Here's my note. <laughs> I need to make sure I see that. Guidance on Karask. Mm. Okay. I'm going to it there. Cool. Thanks, dude. Oh. Then we can play next time. Whenever that's going to be. But, but mm. enough for now. I always try to keep it. I don't know how we always end up going a little bit longer. I try to keep it three hours. This that's always what I usually plan for, but they always go a little bit 
more sometimes. Well, I mean, you have to factor in the hour and a half we send bullshit about random shit. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you play once a week, so I mean, I'll play, uh, it's worth playing longer. Uh, yeah, those guys were, uh, Kuatoas. I didn't, I didn't respond to you right away, but. Yeah, I figured. That's cool. I like them. I wanted another excuse to use them. Cool. All right, guys. Have a good one. Hey, see you, Darren. You too. Have a good yeah. night, man. Later, guys. Hey, later, Kyle. See ya. See ya. See y'all. See y'all. See everybody. Later, guys. Have a good night, man. You too, Bobby.